हेलो हेलो हाँ अभी आ रहा है कर दो शुरू सीन तो नहीं होगा ना नहीं ऑडियो आप कर सकते हो ये वर्टिकल का नॉर्मल कर सकते हो कर सकते लाइव नहीं है अभी तक ना तो एक आवेदन है भेजा है वो चाहिए इसमें तो है क्या है प्लेस करना है सर उससे क्या होगा ये लाइव बोर्ड का स्क्वायर चाहिए क्या नहीं रहने दे फिर हेलो वेलकम एवरीवन टू द सिक्स राउंड ऑफ द चेन्नई मास्टर्स 2023 टुडे वी हैड सम टेक्निकल इश्यूज व्हिच इज व्हाई वी आर स्ट्रीमिंग एट अ वेरी बेयर मिनिमम सेटअप राइट नाउ सो इट माइट बी नॉट फिजिबल राइट नाउ फॉर यू टू सी बट इट विल स्टार्ट इन अ बेट एंड आल्सो फॉर आवर ऑनलाइन व्यूअर्स देयर इज जस्ट अ बोर्ड दैट यू कैन लुक एट अमृता today it's a very critical day uh, because we have gukesh who's leading the tournament with 3 and 1/2 points out of 5 and if he manages to win today that would literally mean that the tournament would come to an end absolutely the tournament is moving so fast sagar 5 rounds already over we have a leader there so leader now makes sense and last two rounds only yes and people cannot see you amruta so maybe no that's fine that's fine you can come in the frame here <laughs> that is fine we did have a nice inauguration for today's round by grandmaster rb ramesh who was here and it was a fantastic inauguration uh let's go to gukesh's game right from the start he opens the game with 1 d4 and pavel plays knight f6 c4 e6 knight comes out to f3 and now d5 so we have the queen's gambit declined on the board and then white plays his knight to c3 pawn comes up to c5 so it's the tarash that has been played and after cd he takes cd4 and this is a line that has been played extensively uh and is very solid weapon for black so queen takes d4 e d5 and now there are many ways to play uh, one of the main moves here is to push your pawn to e4 that's how they played however in this position gukesh because today is kind of an important game for him where he must keep pressing you know he he doesn't want to kind of play a drawish line uh, that's the reason why he played bishop g5 and amruta that's a very interesting decision because he also must look at hari krishna what he is doing and so after e3 castles bishop e2 and now comes knight to c6 queen d3 h6 so firstly gukesh is playing against the isolated pawn sagar that means that white is uh, black is going to try and find some peace activity more dynamic there uh What do you think? Where is this going? How much Gukesh is prepared? I think he What had one game uh, like this at the Olympiad. Uh, it was, if I'm not mistaken, against uh, Daniel Vokaturo. I think that's uh, how it was. And uh, after, हालत नहीं थी पटकन so after bishop h4 bishop e6 castles queen b6 was played and here there is pressure down at the b2 pawn 
and knight came to b5 rook c8 and this is the position that we have right now and sagar though right now we don't yet have the live cams this is how we stream usually so <laughs> this is uh, not a very uh, you know old thing for us what was happening was very new for us so there we are all that matters is a chess board and we can see the game yeah. and every move right okay so let's go let's go guys let's go and we will try to figure out what best can be done in the given situation but for now let's cheer up our uh, guys there who mm. are playing true true uh What's your mood in the chat? Let us know. What do you think? What's going to happen today? What's going to happen tomorrow? And who is your favorite here? Yeah. So, in this position, Amruta. Mm hmm. Now, Gukesh went knight b d four, and after taking on d four. in came the move bishop g4 so this is how uh, it's continuing this position is a knight the best blockader for an isolated pawn yeah it is it is the it is the best blockader i agree uh, but amruta i had a question why couldn't he take this pawn here normally the b2 pawn is considered as a poison pawn yeah <laughs> so that I mean, is the answer there rook f b1 would kind of trap the queen in some ways because the queen is does not have a good square but it can go to a3 defended by this bishop not so, yet getting trapped okay so a good idea could be to capture here because then after bishop f6 that is played now you can go rook f b1 and now the queen is kind of trapped here oh nice so the queen because the bishop was on e7 protecting yeah. the a3 square and if you had to take like g takes f6 that would be terrible ugly and ugly. in fact after knight takes bishop pawn takes queen g6 it's already already over and sagar are we also right now on 15 minutes delay yes we are yeah okay so even if i get the comments there they would be on delay yeah sure i get it so bishop g4 played by pavel and he is just trying to uh, put some pressure on the center and gukesh now has to decide how to continue one idea is to play queen b5 maybe just trying to trade the queens off and say okay i'm ready to play <coughs> an end game here um yeah will he go or will he go aggressive like that is what i'm wondering will he go into a safe end game yeah where he has uh, his chances alive but he is on the safer side or will he go all out like he went with the king to g3 and all that what's uh, what's he going to really decide always interesting when gukesh is playing because his decisions are a little bit unpredictable for all of us also sagar today is anish and sopiko are they going to join uh yes maybe i'm not so sure how we will get them on Zoom, stream like our normal old good old days sagar <laughs> yeah possible uh i mean now are the best new days but they were also good old days <laughs> we 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 will have to try Okay. So, let's go to another game. This is the live board position. Gukesh is thinking he has 1 hour 6 minutes. Pavel has 1 hour 13 minutes right now. Uh So, here we see Levon Aronian playing Alexander Predke and Ooh. the position is quite interesting because Predke has uh lost uh 3 games in a row. and i think it would be very very uh, important for him to strike back mm and so 
So right now, uh, this one is looking slightly better for white here. Yeah, it has been Sicilian there on the board, but the queen on c5. Yeah, it's okay. So we'll go to Parham Maksudlu now versus Arjun Arigaisi. And this game also looks very, very sharp. Arjun has played c4, e6, and we've had this queen's gambit declined, the semi slow and bishop b7, bishop g2, a6, castles, bishop e7, knight comes to e5, and now castles, he took, took, rook takes, bishop takes, and now I guess you could take this pawn, but Arjun was happy with this. Maybe this is his preparation. Uh, so he went queen a1 and now Arjun is thinking here what to play. In fact, there are possibilities. One is you can save your bishop <coughs> by coming up or you can go knight bd7. For bishop b7, the first scary thing looks like queen entering the 7th rank. Yes, that looks definitely uh, very scary. So that's the reason why that was not played. Uh, and so right now after queen a1, this is um, still something that is being thought of what to do here. Uh, knight bd7 was the other move which you suggested, right? Yeah, knight bd7 is a possibility here. But then you are, again, giving up the c6 pawn. So this is one possibility. Uh, the other moves here, instead of playing, moving the bishop, could be to just take the pawn in the center. Queen takes pawn. And that attacks the e5 knight. So if you go and take here, I would take here. And then after bishop f4, trying to win this, I have queen c5. And once you take here, <clears throat> I was wondering if I can go here, but there is queen a7. But queen b8, no? And then e7 is oh, hanging. Oh, actually, so, so many hanging pieces, pins, x-rays, discos, all the possible themes happening in this opening. Yeah, this one is very, very uh, nasty opening. And I think... Uh, Arjun seems to have come well prepared to this game uh, to play Parham. I think a very important game because Arjun is one point behind the leaders and two wins can maybe help him in this event. Although it now depends on how Gukesh also plays. And also Sagar, today Arjun versus Maksudlu means top two seeds are playing against each other. So they are the highest rated in this event and even winning a game gives you good rating. So for Parham, that way also it matters a lot if he beats Arjun. Yeah, true. That is true. And so right now, let's go also to Hari Krishna's game because I think that's an important encounter here. Because Hari <coughs> is playing with the black pieces against Sanan. And if Hari manages to win today, he keeps uh, Gukesh on his toes. Uh, you know, he, <laughs> he doesn't let him run away. And I think... Uh, But the main thing is Hari Krishna's opening here hasn't been that ambitious. He plays the same opening as Eliano, but Sanan instead of going bishop g5 that Gukesh went, goes e4. And after takes, queen takes, this is this well-known line. Yeah, bishop e6, knight e6, f e6. We have seen this a lot in Champions Chess Tour Sagar. Yes, in many, many events we've seen this. And here, uh, a very important uh, point is that if you take here, Amruta, mm -hmm. this could have been a nice move. I am not so sure why he did not play it here, knight e4. Because what did he play? He played here uh, bishop f6. So okay, but he did think for 12 minutes at this position. 
before yeah. making this move yeah somehow S- then it has to be preparation because it's such a well known position and then you are the one who is deviating m- only he is recollecting right. seems like that but that's a new thing which he has gone into taking on f6 there g takes f6 and it's end game which hari krishna as we all know of course is very good at so let's see also yesterday sanan lost the game against gukesh mm-hmm. so today uh, you know as we have known from anish for some players the losing streak really impacts for some players it doesn't we don't know yet how it is with sanan so we have to see today so takes takes king e7 and now uh uh king b1 and wa- black goes knight to c6 and pawn comes up to a3 so this is how things have proceeded and right now this is equalish position or uh, in the game of hari krishna and um sanan that's happening let's go to the game of gukesh versus pavel elianov so the last move was here bishop g4 h3 and then bishop takes f3 happened so this is how it is okay so bishop takes f3 uh and here well bishop takes f3 might be played by gukesh just if you can continue okay sure oh you tell me so they are okay so bishop takes f3 has been played a while sagar is figuring out some things how things can get better i am just going to be hanging in there for a few minutes bishop takes f3 now gukesh is thinking of course he has knight f3 bishop f3 and you would not want to go gf3 so natural looks like bishop f3 without any doubt putting pressure on d5 let's not forget there is a bishop on h4 attacking the defender of d5 so at any point of time the threat is going to be takes and bishop takes d5 winning the pawn but but what is black having here black can simply exchange the knight the blockader on d4 and ask white whether you are going to go into the end game with takes and takes which means that black is not left with an isolated pawn alone it's also white who has got isolated pawn plus black is having a very well placed rook ready to enter the seventh rank so this should be absolutely okay for black uh though white has a double bishop advantage the reason is the rook very quickly entering the seventh rank so that's the reason and that is why gukesh is thinking bishop f3 has been played but what else does he have if he doesn't take on f3 what else can he go go with gf3 you know which a plan like normally king h1 rook g1 would work once again is extremely uglier because black has a simple idea of taking on d4 and you don't want such a horrible structure there so you're not going to play that let's say you want to avoid all the mess with knight takes d4 and having your own isolated pawn so you capture with the knight knight takes f3 what can black do here what is a good move for black can you guys give it a thought a little bit of a thought what's the plan i wouldn't say it's very easy here but can you try and think of something uh, something unconventional something which 
is not easy to go for at this point yeah the right move here the very interesting move here would be g5 attacking this bishop getting out of this pressure on f6 knight where you force the bishop to go back and once again jumping with the knight to e4 again attacking the bishop you see the pawn has moved to h3 so you are threatening there some takes isolating this and white cannot think of capturing your on d5 even though you went to e4 last move because after takes takes queen takes e3 check that would be a complete disaster so that is a very very amazing idea which black is having in in his uh, sleeve g5 and knight e4 that's the reason knight f3 for gukesh would not be a nice idea hence gukesh must take his time he should think he has bishop f3 but he also has another intermezzo here can you try to think of it what is the intermezzo all right all right should be okay now what is the intermezzo here absolutely all those who have said knight takes c6 here taking the knight a lot of takes to calculate firstly you have taken here if black takes the bishop it's a big blunder a massive blunder because there is another intermezzo but that comes with a check so knight e7 you save your knight and then you capture this guy on e2 so it doesn't work that way which means that black will have to recapture the c6 knight and let's say if he captures with the rook wanting to have the rook on the open file now you go bishop takes f3 once again you have the double bishop but this time you do not have your own pawn on d4 which would be isolated as well and also this time you do not have to worry oops okay okay everything is fine you do not have to worry about g5 bishop going back and a knight jumping to e4 that's not a worry at all so knight c6 is definitely one consideration though pavel should make sure not to take the knight with the queen on or the rook wanting it a little bit of a what to say <laughs> you know greedy thing wanting the control of the c file but instead taking with the pawn there capture towards center as we know supporting the d5 pawn which now no more is a isolated pawn and getting prepared to play with the dynamic hanging pawns that's how for knight c6 pavel can answer now whether he's prepared or not is one thing we will get to see it's move number 16th gukesh is thinking gukesh is thinking either taking the bishop on f3 or taking the knight on c6 let's see what he's going to go for everyone saying sound i think that is 15 minutes ago but yeah, it's, all good. it's all good now got it sagar also we are getting the we are trying to get the cameras and everything so have a little bit of patience we will sort it out as soon as we can but until then why not enjoy what we have in front of us it's like आइसक्रीम ऑर्डर किया है इट्स ऑन द वे नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम अभी के लिए घर पे यू कैन सेट एंड मे बी हैव सम फिल्टर कॉफी व्हिच इज वेरी इजी टू मेक राइट सागर यस फॉर श्योर अमृता लेट्स एपडे इरके सागर एपडे इरके व्हाट डज दैट मीन सागर यू आर इन चेन्नई यू शुड नो दैट ओके फाइंड दैट आउट दैट मींस हाउ आर यू एपडे इरके आहा आई एम वेरी फाइन आई थिंक सर यू हैव टू से इन तमिल सॉरी 
My Let's memory uh, is coming back. <laughs> so, Amruta, here uh, you mentioned that Pavel has just captured, yes, on C F three. Yes, and uh, it seems like Gukesh has got nothing much out of the opening, right? He's got a no. very uh, equalish position, and Pavel should be very happy with what he has. In fact, Sagar, this is a critical moment, I would say. because there is something i had asked the viewers a few a while ago which was not a very easy question and you are right now a little stressed so i am not even expecting that you should think on it but uh, either i can show you yeah show me okay oops yeah so bishop takes f3 so now if you take on uh, f3 here bishop takes f3 yeah knight takes d4 queen takes queen takes oh sorry knight f3 sorry i wanted to show you knight takes f3 and over here black to play there's a very good idea with black i can take this right uh that move i haven't really considered because i always have rook b1 for that and rook f1 yeah it's it looks never dangerous. like a worry as such but if if not queen takes b2 amruta hmm. then maybe you need to stop some ideas because otherwise the opponent can um always capture here so maybe g5 okay but i go back to g3 yeah i once you go back i maybe want to come in here and attack this oh nice agar exactly and this actually starts getting a little bit of an irritant for white because yeah. you cannot take on d5 so uh, that's the reason you cannot go knight f3 which means you will have to capture with the bishop back or you will have to take the knight on c6 i think that is what gukesh is right now thinking it's an important decision what he is going to go with so let's see yeah let's see what he decides amruta it's not going to be that easy to understand uh, here but i guess it will be an important moment for gukesh because if you take with the knight oh he's he's done it he's taken with the bishop here bishop takes knight takes pawn takes and uh, <laughs> we have we have a guest sagar yeah in this very uh, primitive setup uh, <laughs> which we have Let's see if that. Sagar, the, don't say it primitive and all because later in future this is what we will be doing. So that would be like you know no, going I mean, back like millions of years ago in ancient times. Yes, but I mean it does look very primitive. Uh, so I don't know if the guest will join us right now. The guest did join us, no, right now. I mean he, he within a fraction of second he joined. Yes, but I don't know. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have some roast. <laughs> but uh, yes, Anurag, thank you, thank you very much. I'm reading this 15 minutes later, but he says we fully understand that sometimes these glitches happen. Congratulations, guys, for coming up with a backup plan on the spot and keeping the show, keep the show going. Yeah, the backup plan is without the videos. Also, the live audience here is waiting for to be able to see the. tv here yeah. uh, but i think we will fix it in a bit uh, and then everyone will be happy <clears throat> and we also may have our guest soon joining us so we'll see when that happens yes guys today the round was inaugurated by rb ramesh the amazing grandmaster and coach and trainer we all know uh, by hopefully he will be able to join but otherwise also we will try to show you some replay moments of the inauguration later right okay so here amruta this has happened in gukesh's game what did he go for bishop f3 yes he went bishop takes bishop takes uh knight takes d4 okay knight takes d4 pawn takes d4 this is the position ah they didn't exchange the queen so gukesh as of now is having double bishops there oh we have the board here 
okay but we don't have here acha so we yes we left to directly got it okay look into it that's not a bad idea i guess now everyone can see at least Audience. what we are okay. analyzing so that means we also will have although they won't be able to see the 15 minute delay no no <laughs> they won't be able to see the camera out uh, in the hall but that's not available today right now they are trying to fix it okay so this is the live position of gukesh right now that is there he is leading the tournament he is half a point ahead of hari krishna and he has the bishop pair amruta oh. my question is can now he take the pawn on b2 pavel elianov is it possible to take this so the very first question whenever you say queen b2 is to check rook f b1 yes we play this rook not this rook because if we play this one then um, a2 hangs a2 no? hangs yes so that's the reason why you bring this one to the game and you attack the pawn on b7 and mm. let's say the queen has to move but if suppose the queen doesn't have to move what is the move that black can play without moving the queen is there any move that f1. black can play sorry f1. rook f1 f1 ah rook c1 you mean but rook c1 is a free rook just take it so that doesn't work rook c3 exactly this is the best move here rook c3 amruta oh nice counter attack there yeah and after you take i take the queen i take the pawn here <coughs> the position is around equal i would like actually white's position here but the problem is that your pawn is also hanging here so i can even take because if you take my bishop i take your bishop so maybe maybe this game goes towards a draw but wait no until gukesh has a rook pawn and then you your opponent has a knight yeah cannot be sure no this is the live position so right now it does look equalish but i wouldn't call it very drawish yet absolutely in fact i would say pavel is the one who will try to pressurize because gukesh is down to 51 minutes that is 17 minutes lower than pavel yeah but amruta uh, gukesh does have the bishop pair and also yeah. um, but pavel has a uh, extra things are there he has the motivation to beat gukesh <laughs> also gukesh <laughs> has a you, who has gukesh has the biggest motivation today because if he wins today then most likely he will win the tournament he could he yeah. could round to spare because, get at the top right yeah because uh if you see then at this point um hari krishna is playing very very equalish position so very likely that hari's game might end in a draw uh yeah but with such a major imbalance of the pawn structure a little too early to say maybe yeah possible but i mean i think this is drawn position like for example right now rook d8 was a nice move because you are attacking the rooks so let's say i defend it by bringing my bishop in attacking your pawn uh, and after i after you take take this could happen you know rook d8 very strong move because now the rook is hanging so you take and i take with my knight defending here and here and it seems like the position should fizzle out into equality absolutely okay so if hari's uh, game ends in a draw let's say he's half a point behind gukesh and if gukesh wins then gukesh is very very clear to uh, yeah to a joint first at least if we can say that Correct. but if hari wins and gukesh draws then they bec they become joint leaders true true at least both we of have them. a guest okay. perhaps joining in let me see if we can have the guest, guest. joining in on whatsapp oh. send link he says let's see if we can have yes L sending sending oops so here
So who's the guest, Sagar? Uh, we have Samai joining us. Oh, but how are you going to hear him? That's a problem. Can you not hear me? One second. We can hear you. Yeah. One second. No, one second. Okay. Let's see if we can hear him in a different way here. Can you say something? Hi, can you please uh, tell me back to the original setting? Ah, now I think people will be able but to... But will they not get an echo? No, maybe not. Of course, because speakers here will go into this mic. It's okay. What have you done to my sound, Sagar? <laughs> Is that Anish? Hello? Hello, Samai. Hello. Why my voice was gone? Why which mess? Some setting I changed. No, that was not me. How are you, Amrita? Are I am good. Waiting for you to make the worst moves. So welcome here. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of fun when you are here. You guys are always so dedicated, man. Kudos to you both, man. What a nice couple. No, today we were uh, we are struggling because things What? have gone wrong uh, in terms of the broadcast. The entire control room is in uh, not in control. Is out of control. <laughs> the cameras are not working, uh, and so we are back to our very basic ancient times. Basic setup of a board oh, camera. But you still have like a thousand people still interested, man. You got something going on. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But so that clearly means people don't care about the technology as long as the analysis is good, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did have thousand people. Actually, I did not realize until Samay said that. Yes. Okay, that's true, Samay. So I don't think these things matter, you know, like technical issues. As long as you can get Anish, everything is fine. <laughs> you get the watching and the clips. Anish is also not here today. Bro, one night I come to your stream uh, randomly. There are like seventeen clips on your channel, man. What's up? <laughs> Our editor must be a big fan of you. <laughs> Look, I've taken I've taken a break from you know whole this whole thing so that you know when I come back with stand up, there's a lot of new algorithm. Why are you guys ruining my algorithm before I come? <laughs> Just fifty three clips of Samarana when you search. What if tomorrow someone wants to see my stand up and they end up watching one of your Clip channel, what yes. happens to me, my career then? They will to get, they will to get all the tickets to your stand up summer. But but summer. there you are insulting me. You are saying you know tickets are half selling. This whatever you are saying yesterday. <laughs> That's no, in the your in the top of the algorithm. His perspectives are different. Right now for me, you are a sit down comedian over here, yeah. very important one for us for the analysis. Summer, this is the position. Gukesh versus Pavel, and very importantly, if Gukesh wins today, then he is very much going towards the big big uh, candidates. But if today Not candidates, he would start towards towards to top the. Fide circuit, yes. Okay, but if today, right now, this position is not a very easy position. He has double bishop. What are your thoughts, Gukesh? I, I don't know who's winning. I know that my search engine optimization is losing by coming here. <laughs> yes, but I, okay. I think uh, Samay, you will have to talk a little loudly because here the audience has to hear you. Oh, even they are there, right? I keep forgetting. I thought it's just us. Yeah, no. Here there is a live audience. Hey, I think bishop in advantage is great. Yes, that's the way. So <laughs> here the bishop pair advantage. Of course, white has uh, has some pressure on the pawn and here, but somehow it seems like the position is too symmetrical. Like I can okay. take. Yeah, take let's just and take here simplify. and just draw the game. I think this is a dead draw. Because he would also take, 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 maybe rook b8. I come back, you take here, and I think this will end in a draw. Maybe even black will start pressing a bit because the f2 pawn is very soft. So actually, did you realize if uh, Gukesh draws, if Hari draws, yeah. then tomorrow they both are playing together. Yeah. So if so, it is a draw, then still, unless there is somebody else who can. Catch up with them. Yes, because right now on three points is Hari and Eliano. So if Gukesh draws today and also Hari Krishna draws, Gukesh will still keep his half point lead. Right, which means so tomorrow. Serious over here, Abhinav. 
Yeah, tomorrow Pavel will have to make win yeah. if he wants to join the leaderboard. And also others will. Uh, others somebody will, will win you, today, so that is two rounds. true. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so let's see other games. Sagar, what about Arjun's game? Arjun's game has been crazy. Look at this. What has happened? King F7. Insane game. Ooh. Super complicated. You can see that the king is on F7. Mm. Because what happened was then when uh, he took the pawn here on D4, the knight was attacked. So he can take the bishop. But as we analyzed here, would take the knight. And then with bishop coming here and attacking this knight, I move my queen, takes this and b4. And then queen comes here and you lose this. So that's the reason why here what was played is Maksudlu first sacrificed his knight. This is known Wait, as, what's this, this tactic A blunder. Called? A yes, blunder. Desperado. Kya bola samay? Very good. Blunder. Blunder. <laughs> Oh, but this works. Knight takes f7. Yeah, king takes, queen takes a8, and now queen goes back to b6. So, he's played his queen here. Arjun, if we count the pawns, is currently a pawn up. But somehow, his knight is not developed, and if he brings his knight out, then the c6 pawn hangs. It doesn't look that pretty for black. Also, the king is a little bit weirdly placed on f7. But it's one free pawn. Yeah. It's like Samai Kasho, if, even if it is half full, still if you get a free ticket, you will go for sure. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I, I, would, I would not go. I mean, maybe if someone paid me to go. Yeah. <laughs> Sahir. This is the exact kind of things I am telling you is damaging my search engine. <laughs> <laughs> this is new Sagar Samai. <laughs> hey, but Sagar, how are you? What do you think about this live audience setup? Do you, are you enjoying it better? Yes, I don't know. a lot. I was enjoying it a lot. Uh, they were very much uh, interacting. We had a lot of questions back and forth in these last few days. So it's a very enjoyable... Don't you think you had the same with live. Don't you think the live chat is feeling a little FOMO, you know, because it's like now you have two. It's like someone having, you know, two people in uh, their life. The, the thing is, with the live chat, we would have loved to keep it going both ways. But because there's a 15 minute delay, we ever anyway could not. Yeah, we it. tried. Oh, yeah. But then it felt like which like it's like a time travel we are doing. Kisse baat yeah. kar rahe, kab kar rahe, like. Full disconnect. And what what is the reason behind this 15 minute delay? Is it so that the players don't see your games? Yeah, it's anti-cheating. It's a strict anti-cheating measure. Yeah, for such a kind of an event, um, this is the best, one of the best ways. So, okay. you know, people, even if they, you know, they cannot use any signals or anything uh, in general. So, so that... The, well, so they think that maybe, you know, one of Lebanon is watching Chess Based India... Um, what uh, I'm hearing Amruta's move and finding that move on the board. No, 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 no. They will not waste time watching the commentary. If it is the same time, absolutely same time moves are going, then uh, there are very different ways. So that you will have to study Samay the whole... Uh... <laughs> but can't they just check like on follow chess or something and anyway find the evaluation if that's the way? Because it's 15 minutes delay, no? They so can't. It's always Even on minutes. follow chess? Every yes, way. Every anyway. way. Oh, wow. Aise thodi na, otherwise, we are fools or what? We are delaying here <laughs> no, and no. everywhere else, they are getting it live. <laughs> I thought, that's what I thought. I thought, oh, it's only for this broadcast that's delayed. So that, I don't know what such crazy chess you guys are telling them. That <laughs> the, no, 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 no. The grandmaster should not find it out during the game. <laughs> it's like somewhere you are cracking a joke and after 15 minutes, you get the laughter. So yeah, that's that usually my show. You can't shows. interact, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but Sagar mm. looks very sad, man. Today Sagar looks like I you know, agree with you completely. Yeah, I'm, Cheer I'm, up, Sagar. Sagar looks on. like you know he had a marriage that didn't work out, and now his life is about to be over. He's just looking at the final five years of his life passing by without any control. He's looking like yeah, that. I was very excited for today. You know, I had this feeling but that I... today we'll be 
uh, having all this excitement what will happen in the game and then suddenly but i have never seen you like this never like how much ever things go wrong never yeah, not even on the wedding day <laughs> <laughs> wedding day things he is like chalo chalo guys what are you doing he is like lag bhi nahi raha tha dulla hai so no but sagar if you have not if you have learned something in life especially from your hairline then you should know that sometimes things are not in your control and you still got to live happily <laughs> yes it is true i'm actually happy i'm just thinking if we are doing good enough because look now you are here my laptop is on uh, speaker i'm thinking if there is an echo which is coming or not then i'm not sure if the audience can hear you well and so on so there are many many things let's let's do one thing sir right now leave everything aside just do what you love and right. you love chess and you love analyzing so forget yeah. everybody yeah. samay gaya anish gaya jo bhi hai aayenge and you they will do their best you do your best and don't worry see I, but let's say let's say it's echoing let's say some people can't hear me so basically it's causing bother it's, it's bothering a li- little people but on top of that if your mood is also bad you are also not in your element then whoever is actually watching it even their mood is getting bad so then to 100% you are making it bad so might as well be in a cheerful mood and whoever is watching it like they're having fun man yeah that's that's a good way to look at it uh maybe but i have one idea amruta if you can give me a minute i will get a mic I know, and i will a... put it here hmm. so that they can hear him well something like that how can they hear him not like i'm giving some uh, good i'm adding anything valuable to their life anyway i think it's better if they don't hear me in fact <laughs> for their life <laughs> okay they could hear you they started laughing okay uh let's have a maybe we can maybe all of you can come a little ahead then it's easier no, wow so much it. pressure on what i have to say now man <laughs> Yeah, I better be saying something crazy now. Yeah, maybe if they want to come a little closer, that could be a possibility. They can. Yeah, if you guys feel, please come ahead. That would be great with your chair, and you can pull it up so that uh, whatever sound is coming from here, you can hear. Because soon Anish Giri will also join. At that point, you may don't you may not yeah, want to speak. Yeah, speak very very fast. <laughs> because right now the guest is not so important <laughs> from the analytic. Wow! Look at this guy. <laughs> from the Badal analytical gaya, perspective. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, very soon we'll have a very strong. I team. cannot tell you the evaluation, but I have been to more bars than Anish. <laughs> 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 I can tell you about life. Amruta, you keep an eye if it is uh, just there is an echo later. Okay. Because when Samai came, it could be that there is an echo. Then I could have just heard him, na? Now it will come, no? After fifteen minute delay, so Samai just came now on the stream. Oh ah. yeah, dude. Uh, so maybe fifteen minutes. This is the worst fifteen minutes of the audience experience. Could be. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we'll find out after 15 minutes so all we have right now is this moment so let's enjoy this one exactly so sagar bhai what's happening in the position you tell me so let's first go to the most important game again which is gukesh versus elianov i'm i'm yes. a bit surprised that elianov always tries to keep playing on and on he never tries to draw the game you know like he's such a fighter even with black pieces So here I was expecting like he might go for some drawish opposite colored bishop position, but he played the best move knight e4. Okay. And the point. So you're is, surprised. Sorry. So why are you surprised? No, he's playing really uh, fighting chess. So that is very good to see. And now you will see that the knight is very well positioned. Also, the queen is attacking this pawn. the rook is also on the open file so amruta what do you do next as white as gukesh what is the move that comes to your mind if you were in gukesh's shoes here white to play let's ask chat and some rook rook e2 wow what a move rook e2 is such a nice move because you keep the tension going and i believe this could happen but then the knight here sits very strong on e4 with the pawn to f5 and i don't see that gukesh is better here in any way how funny it is that uh, why not yeah why not just take the knight the strong knight from your weak bishop eliminate yeah. your bishop but and let's say your structure would be greatly in black's favor 
but can he do some like i i would you rather have that weak uh, bishop on f3 but instead of, if you then don't play rookie 2 right then just take it here so that you can win the pawn hmm he will take queen takes queen and taking. then queen takes pawn queen rook b1 with the support of this either he can give a check or he can take you can take and i think eventually this should end in a very quick draw but if anybody had to try samay would you try with black or with white i would try with white always because i don't know we get to play first move <laughs> okay so with white for the deep pawn Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like, I like this position because we have a passer pawn. So maybe I would, I would like this position with White to be honest. But right now, Gukesh has not taken yet. He's thinking. Mm. He, he might want to play B three, but this oh, causes a problem. Which square is weakened after B three? C three exactly. C three. You are right. C three becomes weak, and I don't think that Gukesh wants to play his pawn up to B three. what should we do here that is the big question i think the yes. big challenge for gukesh is whether to agree to a draw like sort of take here this is like a draw offer or to play like samay did which is rookie two but then okay have this sort of worry how how about the move bishop g4 attacking the rook and how do you defend that oh nice you but i come here and attack you again Ah, uh, okay. I'm not in time for F3 push, right? Yeah, maybe this becomes very, very. Okay. What else do we have? Can we bring the other rook to C1? Ah, rook C1. But then, what if I take, take and take your pawn? Then this check is useless. You are saying, right? Check, king here. Check. Bishop takes. Yeah, it's it's of no use actually. So it's about it then. Maybe it's between bishop uh, takes and rook e two then. Yeah. But we just we just saw that bishop takes is a draw. So Gukesh might play my move then. Yeah, I think rook e two. If Gukesh is in the fighting mood, he will play this. No, I don't think he can because he will also have to be objective. And objectively, the knight on e four is definitely better than the bishop on f three. In even if in a slight sense. So there is no reason for him to fight. Yeah. Because it could go really wrong. I I think today Gukesh will get up, go to Hari Krishna's board, check what is happening there because he is the one who is in sort of half a point behind him. The other player who is half a point behind is his opponent Eliano. <laughs> so he will go there and see. Oh, he he'll feel it's a draw. So he will then maybe take on e4. Yeah. Ex oh, he's done it. Oh, he took on he e4. Took on See, e4. Yeah. He, he had to be objective. Yes. But this is important, you know, because Gukesh actually has lacked in this being objective at few moments where he had kind of gone rash. But which is what we love that about him. Yeah. That he lacks that, so we get some amazing games and then we get some amazing results because of that. True. But today, I think this is a really, really a safe decision. T today, he has said that okay, I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulder, uh, shoulders, and I should not just throw this away. And so he's taken on e4. Hmm. but would love to hear anish's thoughts here on this uh, position whenever he joins in because i think it might be an important decision here uh, whether gukesh has played this correctly or not but i think he's done okay amruta yeah because i think if this is not correct then earlier itself he would have had to choose something else but right. once he got into this he must take the knight okay okay so this one should be fine uh let's go to levon versus predke uh and try to understand what's happening here it seems like levon aronian's pieces have more space no with white you can have you have so much more space and black is kind of boxed in here so then samay will like black why why he likes such positions and then to just you know go aggressive 
No, Samai. By the way, I met I met Levi today. Oh, oh really? really? Wow. Yeah, I, we had dinner together. It was fun. Where? In New York only near his. We I went to his house. You went to his house. Yeah, then we went out to a nice Mexican food place. We did had a nice food. A we had a lot of conversations. Not everything works like uh, chess base in India, brother. <laughs> no. We just had a fun time without any clips. Because. But I I played a game of chess you with see, him. If if he, uh, Magnus he did he released the video with Magnus no yesterday or today. Yeah, yeah, he did some interview. So then I thought next logical step should be with you. No, I just wanted to chill with him, man. We like I had like an hour, two hours to chill, so I just. But lived instead of making it into a content. No, I'm just saying that after Magnus, who is left, right? It's only you, so he could have done that. Oh, like that? You mean? <laughs> no, but he 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 gave me three signed copies of his book. Oh wow! And what? So maybe we can do them? some giveaway. What? I'll give do? two to I'll give two to Chessbase India. One I'll keep. Chessbase India can do a giveaway or something. Oh. So yeah. that the audience can get something apart from the thousand clips. <laughs> nice. <laughs> something that adds value to their life <laughs> okay okay thank you samay for always thinking so well about us we also think about you all the time which is why we we make clips for you uh so right now queen has gone to d6 and it's just right in the heart of the position and it's wow. attacking the pawn here now on b6 so Firstly, you can't kick the queen away. Right? Yeah, we can't kick the queen away. So, what would be a good move here for black? Bishop C6? Wow, very nice. Bishop C6 blocking. Hey, but one second. Do you want to go in an end game with Queen C6? Possible. I think blocking is better. Mm. That's what my exes used to do. So queen c6, maybe uh, the best move here could be a5, because now I'm fighting for the c5 square here. Look, this is a very strong position for white, and I think Levon Aronian might today score a win against Predke, and Alexander Predke has lost three games in a row. This could well be his fourth loss. No, it's a little too early, Sagar, because there is a lot of play with f5 in the future and sure. Um, sure. things like that with the bishop on b7, eyeing on f3, knight. So, a little too early, but for sure you make a target, as we all know, in an open tournament in the first half. Whoever couldn't make the best use of it, they are the target. So, yeah. So, right now. Let's go to the game of Parham versus Arjun. Maybe the most exciting game of today, because right now Parham Maksudlu's queen is only moving from corner to corner. What's wrong with her? First goes to a1, <laughs> then goes to a8, then goes to a1. Now <laughs> maybe it's a tourist man. It's just traveling around. It's like me in New York, going just... everywhere, all in the corners. Yeah, it's like uh, has no aim in life. Does random dinners with everyone. <laughs> does not have. Does not shoot content when needed. <laughs> Signs copies from <laughs> unnecessarily. <laughs> so maybe I think Arjun. Just imagine this scenario. Okay, Arjun today manages to win against Parham. Okay. Firstly, that's a big result. That's a big beating big. the top seed. That's not with the black easy. pieces and from this position. Yes. Okay, but then... if he manages to beat Parham, he mm -hmm. reaches three and half. Then he plays Sanan tomorrow, and if Gukesh today draws against um, um, Elianov, tomorrow he draws against Hari Krishna. He also reaches four and half. Arjun also reaches four and half. No, if he wins tomorrow also. Tomorrow also, yes. Ah, then Arjun, Arjun also scores goes. two wins. Ah. Then we have two leaders on four and half, and I think both will. Then uh, the number of points that Gukesh gets are not that many because it's a joint first, not a, <clears throat> not a sole first. 
and then it so happens that in the world rapid and blitz arjun gukesh and anish all three will fight for the candidate spot very closely that could also oh, happen oh that is another very interesting dynamic there yeah all eyes on world rapid when is that now from 25th uzbekistan <laughs> and when is the candidates april, april. maybe between that you can organize another one no no 31st december <laughs> cut off <laughs> maybe uh, samay 30th december world rapid and blitz ends we have one day <laughs> yeah one let's day go we it. can let's do wait. some seven rounds <laughs> let's wait for what happens after the world rapid and blitz yeah okay hey, but disposition is very interesting now queen a7 has gone yeah Arjun is thinking is fifty seven minutes. Maksudlu only thirty one minutes. Almost half an hour of difference there. Yes. F- what are the first moves which come to your mind, Samay? But why did he play Queen A one? I can't even understand. Okay, like, let's go and understand. Like here For the black. Queen was so well placed, it was stopping the night. Do you understand night. Maksudlu? Yeah. How? I mean Maksudlu is just pl- a good player, right? No, that. But you don't understand him, right? On a no. personal level, then how will you understand Queen A one? No, but. I mean the thing is what is Did you understand he could eat an ice cream and score a win? What is it that he is gaining here? <laughs> After queen a1. Yeah. After I queen a1. Th- thought he avoided knight b7 his... as a tempo. Anyway he had to go to a1. He is keeping his pieces in, in front of him man. Oh, we are fixing it ah. Huh? But so, but wait. Uh, guys, um, slowly and steadily you might get to see the player cams. Amazing. It is being fixed slowly Arjun. and steadily, but that yeah. looks like a good one. I am more excited about Sagar Shah being happy again. <laughs> Now he is happy, no? Oh, Now, yeah, look, look at his smile. He has never fixed. been happier. Unbelievable. No, Sagar, if your <laughs> happiness is dependent on anything, yes. it's a big risk. Yeah, my that's wow. true. My happiness should not be dependent on anything. But whether uh, Samay comes, whether Samay doesn't come, yeah. whether he's sleepy. True, true. But no, I'm very you be uh, happy, happy that we. What? You should be happy regardless, man. Sagar, I don't worry about it. It'll be there, if it has to be. Right now, the main issue is why she, why he played queen a one. No knight b d seven. Are you guys reason. understand? One second, Shanti. Knight b d seven is anyway coming. You anyway are going back with your queen. He just did it one move ago. Did you have anything else apart from queen a one? Let's talk about that. What else will you do? Queen a two. <laughs> Are ya? No, it's a good. No, move. but apart from the oh, queen move, I, I mean. I understand why you can't play rook d one. Can anyone tell me what is the problem with Knight rook d seven? No, but then I'll take c six. That's the main thing. That if I keep here, my queen can take the pawn when your knight moves. Oh, so I cannot. You can go, go knight b d seven. All the shanti you and all did not was not needed. <laughs> Bishop. Sorry? Bishop c5. Bishop c5 is possible, but not the best move. Something better, like what? Knight d5. Mm, possible, good. Knight g4, fantastic. Attacks the pawn on f2. This was the square that was left unguarded by the oh. rook. So the rook moves away, and now suddenly the bishop is also hanging. Oh, so rook d1 is actually a mistake. I mean, you can't move the rook from f1. Yes. Okay. So, so what else white had? White could go back with his bishop. I think this was the best move <coughs> attacking the queen. Uh so here queen a1 was played and now Arjun plays his knight bd7. Guys, this tournament is very much open because if Arjun today plays mm. well against Parham and he already has a small edge with the white piece uh, with the black pieces, he might be able to keep this tournament exciting until tomorrow wow yeah that could be it's already very exciting tournament sagar bhai regardless don't worry <laughs> yeah that is also true no but uh, i mean right now if gukesh draws today then it's uh, very much possible that he might be the favorite right but with arjun coming up anything can happen yeah i mean i like the black pawn structure on the left side those three pawns they might queen if played it's, perfectly it's like arjun saying yesterday i had three pawns 
in white against Aronian's one pawn. Today I have three pawns with black against uh, Maksud lose one pawn. And he won't mess it up now because he knows he has already done that. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is Arjun's game. What about Hari Krishna? Oh, we have some development here. A uh, very interesting one and we shouldn't always just say that Hari Krishna might draw this game although it's completely equal because after Bishop C4... But from day one, Hari Krishna has been in equal positions trying to find something or his opponents. I mean, somebody. One of the player, the beauty of this tournament is one of the player is hey, trying hey, hey. to fight for a win. Yes. Why, why didn't he? Why didn't he just take the rook and then take the pawn? Because the knight would have taken and then everything is defended. Oh yeah, the knight goes and takes. So here, the point is after rook c1, now he goes bishop b6. Very interesting. Now you can take here and here. Let's imagine if I take here, what is the move that black can play? Oh, you can't see. Let's think. People ah, can't see here. They're kind of fixing something. No? Yeah, they're trying to fix the TV. So that's why it cannot be seen. They can but... see your face, but they cannot guess the move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, can they go bishop takes that pawn? No, Are no, the rook is hanging. Hai, this is hanging. The rook is hanging. Are, sorry, the TV is not there, so I'm not able to see it. <laughs> How do I show them? You are anyway. Okay, okay. This... Rook D2, Rook D2. So yes, very Rook D2. That's also 15 minute delay. Okay. <laughs> Got it. So, Rook D2 attacks here with the Bishop and the Rook. So, this is clearly uh, fine. And also, Knight B7 that happened in the game led to Rook D2 attacking here. Okay. Here's another point. If I take bishop takes e6, what should be done? What? But isn't this like a free because bishop? Because if you take here, I take your knight with a check. Yeah, now I think you can see. What should be done here? Let's think, let's think. Oh, I know. Bishop d5. Bishop? d5. d4 you mean? d4, yeah. Wow. Wow. How did you find this move? Because it attacks that pawn twice, man. Amazing. Amazing. You're treating me like I am some, you know, <laughs> Stand <-up> comedian. <laughs> Take, and I think uh, this is equal. So, so as expected in some way, Hari's Hari... game go moving towards a draw. Hari... It all depends on Sanan if he's going to be ambitious or not. Yeah. So this might end in a draw and then we go uh, back to Gukesh and we see that a few... Oh, what? what? Did you see what Gukesh has done? No. So after he took on e4 here, queen takes, I thought he will play rook b1, but he's gone rook e1. And now, <coughs> if you take here, yeah, you have black to is a pawn up, but okay, queen b7 is coming. When it's equal. So instead of the rook going to b7, he's going to take the queen to b7. Yeah. But one second, if if not queen a2, what about b5, let's say? b5. A b5 here. Yeah, that's a possible move. b5 could be played. Can't you just push your own pawn then? d pawn. Let's try a race, okay? Uh, Ford versus Ferrari. <laughs> okay, b4. Okay, we push it again. Uh, is your you can't push it again. What? Uh, if I can't go a5, is b7 Amanda. is gone. Uh, rook d8, queen e7 is a problem. Ah, rook d8, queen e7, queen f6. So let's go rook d8. Is that okay, lost? rook d8. I think that's a blunder no, already. Ah, but let Samai not get the bar evaluation. Now, now let me tell you what to play here. This is simply queen... Uh, to the seventh heaven. Yes. This Queen f6. It's equal. Ah, it's equal. Take, take, oh. and maybe rook d1. Should be equal. So, here, by the way, some moves have been played. And the moves are rook d8, queen e7, queen takes d4, queen takes b7, and I'm expecting... A quick shake of hands here between the opponents. 
why not a slow one <laughs> that uh, the editor will do slow mo <laughs> <laughs> man sagar bhai is gone today bro he is emotionally wrecked i can see it <laughs> sagar bhai is like that meme hasde chehre ka ye matlab nahi hota hai you know outside I mean, here smiling, we are talking smiling. about some other position some other position is coming on the screen acha oh it yeah. was some Saga other is, position you know, like so mad right now one minute i will just fix this and come amrita you handle no no some... samay is there so not i i will not handle samay samay will handle this, this <laughs> saga shah is basically me at 5 am thinking i'll fix my life in the morning <laughs> just to come back to the same mess <laughs> you went away so samay so that's why we are here back to maksud lu arjun i think yeah, the most yeah saga shah has become too serious man amrita what have you done I don't know I have never seen him like this. I mean it's it's a shock to me to be very honest. It's it's really the first Sagar time. Sagar is into meditation and not letting outside things inside affect the inside and all that he says what happened first to time, him today first man. Time. Adding to it maybe sleep deprivation. <laughs> yeah man. Okay so Samay H6 has been played by Arjun. Is the position yeah, there just... H6? Yes, we do have it for our lo- live audience. The right position. Uh, Bring it back. But so Arjun decided to go H6 first to kick the bishop away. Where do you go? Bishop E3, or he, just... he goes bishop F4. But a question was can why we... not bishop E3? Can we can we flip the board so I can see it from the guy who I'm supporting's perspective? No, we are neutral and we are seeing with <laughs> white. all the oh games. yeah so that's why yes. okay then <laughs> <laughs> oh man i wish all the best to param maksudu <laughs> i don't know uh, maybe just bring the queen back then yeah you do you can go queen c7 even queen a6 would be fine in fact even bishop c5 would be a nice move there so many many possibilities so he went bishop f4 Sagar Shah is back. Any news, Sagar? Yeah, now this is working. So at least our uh, live audience. But any news to... that the, is there any hope that we can get to see the players today? No, they are very uh, much confused as to what is happening, because you know uh, on day one I realized that there are so many wires. There were like hundred wires in the control room. So while it worked, it looked excellent, but. Why it doesn't work? You have to now check every single wire, which one is not working, and so on. It's just I, like I life. You have to keep untangling, yeah. yeah Why don't you just add a, with a zoom call with a zoom call to a yeah, phone? Yeah, should just I, put a try I try to fix call? something like that? Maybe one. No, but then, but then it's like uh, which link? The quality reduces. No, no, <laughs> not quality. What do you? <laughs> yeah, why not, Sagar? Like <laughs> having me here is already quality reduced, brother. <laughs> we had in uh, the Kerala Nihal versus Prague match also the zoom camera. Yes, but we cannot go now and disturb the players inside. So I won't disturb the players. Yes, but okay, we should not do. Okay, okay. So Sagar doesn't agree to that. That's fine. We'll try to get the. Maybe they are trying to work it out. If we are lucky, things will work out and we'll get to know. Otherwise, okay. So like Amrutha, uh, he he just brought his bishop one step behind, not two steps behind. And the reason probably is something that maybe the engine can tell us. <laughs> the engine can tell us. <laughs> I don't know. No bishop f4. Okay, that's a good move. Let's let's just focus on the analysis, Sagar. Forget everything. Forget we have everything, Sagar. We have three different levels and... here. No four. Samay, me, you, and engine. <laughs> Okay. Along with the audience. Yeah. So let's uh, just focus on the moves and forget about the cameras. Right. Can we do that? Yes. We need you back. Otherwise, okay. you can go out of the frame. <laughs> can we do that? Okay. Let's let's why, try to why, see. Why did the bishop not come even more behind and attack the queen? Tell me this. Yeah, that's a very good question, Samay. Because here he could have gotten Thanks. a tempo, but then he thought that maybe the queen will simply drop back on c7. And Isn't that the point of a tempo? But yes, but he did not feel that it was so important. I think his main point is that after bishop f4, the bishop is well positioned here. That's why he's played it. But all in all, look at this nice central move by the knight, defended by two pawns. Oh, if you take on d5, it's a dream come true. 
if you C take c takes d5 kya ghar ban gaya this is this is like wow. untangling those 100 wires inside now you are just <laughs> You're still thinking about that sagar <laughs> 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 Today all analogies will be of the wire and the shock and <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe what has happened but seriously. <laughs> Roasting his Sagar bhai is that meme from Queen Kangana crying. Mera to pura life kharab ho gaya. So so right now Arjun in the driver seat against Parham with black pieces. And actually guys remember the way in which Arjun plays his openings. to c4 he is always playing e6 this line and then he's so he starts with e6 and knight f6 and keeps things in hand for bishop b4 or d5 or c5 that way and also kudos to parham for playing this move bishop g5 because that leads to the sharpest of lines because if you play e3 this anti meran this is quite more solid but this le led to very very exciting position and right now yeah. we can see that arjun has really interesting chances today to fight for the full point did he is not played knight d5 this is the live board right now with bishop on f4 that is there okay let's ask the viewers for the candidate move we don't ask for calculation but what are the moves which come to your mind knight d5 amrit one is knight d5 apart from knight d5 push the pawn g5 Okay, for him G five and somebody else also G five. What G5. else? You guys really. Let's not Whoa. make the move. Let's just ask for candidate moves, like the options. Anything else on the, the mind? The, the knight goes knight H five. No, knight E5. H five actually achieves the same thing we as knight D five. And knight H five. E five, very nice. Knight H five is just what White wants. I believe that knight is a little bit sidelined, and then I attack here. But Sagar, all the moves which were which uh, you know we received, none of the move is like bad for black. Yeah. Which means Arjun is having a great position. True. So after Bishop f4, Knight d5 is the best move. But if he doesn't play that, let's look at g5, which was a few. Yeah, uh, g5 is maybe the bishop just. You are exposing the king more. He just comes back, and the position is again interesting. No. Uh, What about Bishop c5? let's say for example yeah this is also interesting i mean the fact that black has so many good moves shows yeah, that arjun's position is very easy to play and the fact that we are not able to find blunders yeah. what about <laughs> what Let about me help you out yeah samay can help c c5 c5 samay if c5 and b4 is agar both the moves you try also a good move <laughs> not a bad move what a position arjun is having b4 also okay so there are there is This, this, this. But then there is a big six. problem. This. Big, big problem, Sagar. Not big. It, Very big. I know what you are going to say. You will say when there are so many options, it can get confusing. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's my that's my Tinder bio. That's your. <laughs> that's my dating app bio. Oh God! But isn't it true? Yeah, I am having a tough time. <laughs> oh, he played. What did he play? He played knight d5 and Parham instantly played his knight to e4. 24 minutes and for almost double the time Arjun is having with a great position. What should Black Amazing. play here? Now. Again, let's try the same thing again. Knight the other knight in front of the king. Yes, I like this knight 7 f6. And if I give a check, king can go back. and arjun keeps an extra pawn and guys remember if white cannot do much then the black pawns will start rolling on the queen side and this will become very difficult to handle this is these knights are brilliant so e6 is weak right can i not go bishop h3 yeah you can try and attack this amruta but then you are losing a piece here so Oops. that you have to be careful yeah so there are a lot of problems here for parham maksud lu and i am seeing that arjun is oh by the way big result arjun uh, gukesh has drawn his game he said guys Ooh. you don't have the camera right now let me keep it simple yeah <laughs> and he's drawing 
He's drawn his game today, which is I don't know how to think about this draw. I really like Gukesh's decision because I felt that it could go slightly in a difficult situation if you know if he's too ambitious there. What do you feel, Samay? Does it matter? I feel Samay? that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, Bala. go on. No, I feel that you know uh, it's good that he drew because now lesser games to lose or win. Okay, and what do you feel about Gukesh's draw? Do you think it was a good result for him today? Yeah. Yes, but in a way, his opponent was half a point behind him, so he still remains half a point behind. And Hari Krishna, who was the other player half a point behind, also doesn't seem likely to win this. It's too simplified a position. But isn't it two points down? Yes, Hari is two pawns down, so he will recover one of the pawns by taking here. Then this pawn may fall, or bishop comes here, and this pawn is attacked. So there is enough counterplay to hold the balance. So that means that Hari will also draw most likely. So Gukesh will keep half a point lead. And then what happens? And how many games are left? One. That's it, right? So only one game. So it's actually great for Gukesh. He can spend the energy for the last game instead of stressing out in this one. Yeah. Actually, and for Gukesh, black and white hasn't really mattered much. Hmm. Okay, so maybe it's a good result, yes. But we are so used to Gukesh fighting all the time that we are like, oh, that was a very quick draw. That the thing happened there, you know, hmm. that way. Uh, but yeah, from a tournament situation, I think Gukesh a this draw tomorrow. Seals most likely first spot. No, tomorrow him. I think he will fight. No, but it seals the first spot, right? Because he's half a no, point. No, but if ahead. he wins, then it's a clear cut first. Uh, so he will. He's not going to take risk for join first. No, so but join first try. also puts him on top of the leaderboard. Maybe he will not think of this. Maybe he'll just play the game. Yeah, that is true. He will not think of all of that. How much he will he not gets... think that? Oh my God, I am plus five. But let me, you know, just repeat thrice. No, I think He'll this just... is something which might be playing on his mind for sure. For the opening, maybe. Opening and also in general, it's a very big thing, right? Because you are trying to make it to the candidates and this spot and all of that would be playing on his mind. But don't you think that that's counterproductive? That pressure is not good. Maybe he'll just, you know, he'll trust himself to play the a great game. But Samai, how can you stop thinking about it? I maybe he could he could be. He said he's got I mean, used to dealing yeah, with it. Yeah, it's difficult to stop thinking. I mean, clearly you are unable to think of anything <laughs> apart from those wires. <laughs> <laughs> Candidates, though, I'm sure, must be more exactly, difficult than that. Exactly, exactly. How many of us are able to stop thinking about something that is important and focus really on uh, things which are in our control? I don't think many are able to do that. No, yeah. at different phases okay. we are able to do different like like normally let's say today is a very difficult situation for you yeah. but normally many times things go wrong and you are not affected so why is today different is also a question yeah i don't know it was very uh, unexpected but true i so generally generally our expectations yeah Okay, but let's let's just get back to the game, guys. Come on. There is <laughs> not end much left in the game, Samai, yeah. And I'm going to tell Samai, you, please uh, go Amruta away. Samai, has just started a philosophical uh, thing here that it's our expectations that create problems. Yeah, that it's a desire is the root of all suffering. This is the like Lord Buddha has said this long ago, man. <laughs> okay. I have not started. Let's it's go well back known. to let's go back to chess here. Very interesting game. So we have such a beautiful opportunity to analyze them. So let's focus. That's what I mean. <laughs> yes. Right now, Samai, what would you play here with the white pieces? Your queen is hanging. I would. I would first uh, give you a hug and say everything is fine, Sagar. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm and fine. then I I'm would fine play. Now. I'm fine. Then I would play. Then I would play my knight back. Knight back. Knight back. Are you're losing a queen? Queen is hanging. Oh, it's it's white to play. Yes. Oh, I would just take that knight. No, I can't. Yeah, I would just take the knight. I would rather have my queen Ooh, there. It's white to play, which means he's thinking it's black's move also. And the so and then where was he going to take the knight back? <laughs> <laughs> because he didn't say I will capture oh, the man. queen. 
मतलब ही वाज एब्सोल्युटली नॉट फोकस्ड सो टेक नो नो आई वुड जस्ट टेक द नाइट रुक टेक्स एंड प्रेडके हैज सम प्ले बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस बिशप रुक एंड आल्सो द अदर रुक जॉइनिंग इन एंड द नाइट कमिंग इन हियर दैट मे बी आई विल या सम काउंटर प्ले नो Uh, maybe there's nothing actually. How do we defend that? How do we? I'm I'm actually liking White's position because after the knight sits here, the knight is controlling everything. It's well placed. The bishop is looking in this diagonal. The rooks are on the open file. So in a way, Aronian's position looks great. Now imagine Aronian also on two and half. Today oh. he wins. He moves to three and half. So with Arjun can, yeah yeah with i mean if arjun wins arjun winning is not a given here Correct. it's a very no, complicated position what we are calculating i mean in that yeah. scenario so in a way what will happen is gukesh will be on 4 hari krishna arjun and levon could be on 3 and 1/2 all three of them and levon is tomorrow sparing become very important yes then. levon is actually tomorrow playing with uh, arjun no uh, uh, eliano tomorrow ah okay and by the way eliano also on 3 and 1/2 so he How will be playing for, with forget him he is on 3 and 1/2 then he will play with whom aronia okay <laughs> <laughs> got it yeah. whatever you start can we have a this. camera of the live audience at least ah obs check kiya to udhar jata hai yeah let's go we don't have any cameras today samay <laughs> okay <laughs> please Please don't remind me of that. <laughs> Man, I wish I could see Arjun right now. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bishop E5 played by Param. Oh no, Knight F6 played by Arjun. Bishop E5 on the board. Okay, this is getting interesting. What will Arjun do? Will he exchange the knights? I think he won't take here because once you take the queen comes in. Yeah, and with your king weak, you don't want you need that uh, shelter from yeah, the pieces. Yeah. We don't we don't want the queen to come into the board. So knight g4? Wow. Oh, oh knight g4. Knight nice move hitting the bishop. Where will the bishop go because here the queen is controlling? Here, if you go, the knight will take. Here, if you, you can go there. Ah, you can go here. But I'm just but wondering then, if I take, take, check, king g8. Now look at the pressure that's on the f2 square. It's a huge amount of pressure. That looks like you right now. Yes. <laughs> Black is so maybe that won't happen then. But then what? Uh, so after bishop e five, knight g four. Where are you going? Bishop c three. No, that's no. But lost. bishop bishop c three would be met with b four. I start pushing my queen side pawns. So this bishop is actually looking quite shaky in the center of the board. I I like this. I like this. Knight g four. Bishop going back. Take here. Take here. Arjun's position keeps getting better. Yeah, he is also smiling. If you can see, looks happy. <laughs> Where? Uh, Where? In the OBS. OBS. But here, Sagar, the danger is that it can convert into opposite colored bishop. Yeah. I think you would not want to take that bishop on f4 because you really love your knight, isn't it? Yes. By the way. Um, Amrita, huh? where is Anish today? Because he generally joins at 5 p.m. He said it's a very primitive setup, Sagar. What's this? Ah, but he's on our Zoom call. Oh, he is. Yes. Oh, but then he's muted. So we oh. don't even have his camera now. He's saying watching, sir. Are why? I uh, can you join? Absolutely, Anish? please. Yeah, we need Anish right now. Let's not come yet. He is his message. I will join if you promise to give me my candidate spot back. <laughs> 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 okay, maybe he's just watching. Let's 
see maybe sopico will join us at the right time but anish will also join right they both can join together that also could be an idea but anish do come we are waiting for you oh by the way hari krishna and sanan's game could become slightly interesting because uh hari is a pawn down but look at this knight it's kind of trapped it cannot come out but there is this famous story right who will bell the cat like, what is the story you know the story right no i know only cat gambit no the the story goes that uh, all the mice gather together and they say they make plans to sort of um this uh, is a story on dark power things to know how the when the cat is arriving that how exactly will they get alerted hmm. you know so something so then everyone concluded that the best idea is that What's we will message? we will put a bell around the cat cat's neck so everyone was like great idea so that when she would come we would hear the bell and we would all run away but then the question came like who will bell the cat and they had no answer <laughs> so, so in the same mice, way the night is so very many mice and trapped. cat but actually who will go and capture it is the question the king <laughs> <laughs> but okay the bishop will come and defend it so maybe it's not so easy to trap it i like the story of this bell first time i'm hearing is it so famous or for you yeah you should, if you guys go to your ground floor it's a story from there only cats and and rats no this is very famous when i was young it's a guard copper story <laughs> <laughs> you get it now swagat <laughs> got it got it got it okay by the way uh, you see that according to him many people don't know what rats are because they don't see them in life and so on so okay now h3 has been played and now hari krishna has to figure a way out to equalize although he shouldn't really wor be worrying so much i have a very nice move here you have trapped this knight correct and every time i'm going here the bishop comes and defends it so how about i shut the bishop are bishop f5 Yes, why is this a mistake? Knight d4. Knight d4. Oh, oh, check. Check and black starts to get an Forward. advantage. So can't take here. So king Bishop g8 maybe? No, if you go king d3 is there a problem? Oh, there is a barrier. I cannot attack the f3 knight. Yes. This is a beautiful barrier there and then I go for a check. You go king back. No, then back. king d3 is a waste move. and then i push the pawn so already it feels like hari krishna should not have <coughs> difficulty to hold this especially with the knight here mm. yeah this looks like a draw what else which else uh, what are the games happening we have to actually look at levon aronian's game a little more closely and try to figure out why is levon not playing knight takes knight because that seems like the most natural move here but maybe he maybe was just, just planning calculating. to go calculating sorry maybe he's just calculating after that what happens yeah yeah i agree take take now what g3 he must be calculating all this let's go to param versus arjun oh he played c5 no look look what happened here your movement is happening very quickly bishop e5 now we looked at knight coming here but arjun didn't play it he went rook d8 and his point is that this d6 square has con is controlled by two white pieces so he is controlling that square so he assessed basically knight g4 bishop f4 is not as simple as it looks yes i agree th with that okay so he went rook d8 bishop h3 yeah bishop h3 is such a tempting move right you attack that e6 pawn the isolated pawn yeah. and you feel like the king on f7 cannot move that's your feeling yes But whenever you play Bishop H3, computer doesn't like it no, for some the, reason. No, the main point, of course, is that you are keeping an eye here. But who is the other person who is going to join you? Anish. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> he's not joining. This, this is us. No, no. Anish has messaged in the Zoom chat. I don't know if you guys are checking. What is he said? Something personal. Can you say? No, it's personal. No, then how can he say? Maybe in some time it will come on clip channel. 
<laughs> if it is not personal samay can you read because if i check it it goes it is seen to everyone so maybe anish okay. can he's message in whatsapp no he is saying that the payment has not yet come from the <laughs> sponsor to him for real for real that's what he's saying i didn't know that he's paid to come here he's saying that at least you know i'm you are kicking me out of candidates may as well i make some money here <laughs> oh my god hmm okay no that uh, we will ensure that he's paid okay no no he said his his wife is not home now he'll be joining soon oh oh okay that's good to know c5 finally is pushing the pawns but yesterday when he started pushing the uh, f4 f5 pawn if you remember that was a little too early do you think it will create psychologically he'll always remember yesterday's uh, end of the game i think for arjun it's very important to win this game because he has had such a tough game yesterday hmm. and he was dominating it for like 95% of the game and then suddenly it ended in a draw but even then he kept his cool yeah he actually analyzed he was smiling with a handshake and everything i yeah. do remember so my has it ever had happened to you that you were in a show very important one like a important game and then you make such blunders that the people are not laughing maybe not crying but at least they're not at all laughing and then uh, it's a very yeah. hard moment for you how, how do you deal with that you should have come to my show yesterday <laughs> that did happen no no just kidding but yeah and that time you you always have to do some crowd work then crowd work okay by the way pawn to f5 did happen oh hari played hari did that. play hari did play his pawn i mean he's finding his play. little tricks then yes but sanan says i don't care i'm actually pushing my pawn so as to free my knight actually and also knight can come out now can it get dangerous for black i feel so i feel if hari krishna is not careful this can get very dangerous if hari does not manage to hold this then his chances of winning this tournament become almost nil so he needs to <clears throat> win i mean he needs to draw today and then play tomorrow against gukesh that will be a huge game again parham maksudlu versus arjun erigaisi we are waiting here after c5 what do you think white will play yeah, here let's also ask the live audience yes. what do you think white white to move options are over here very sharp position <sighs> not easy actually parham would have loved somehow is queen wait, to wait, come wait. in some way but it's not so simple what do you play here anyone f4 f4 with the idea of f5 that could be a very very interesting plan but after knight e3 you weaken that square and that's what you don't want and then you are happy with the rook on d8 oh look look parham played a move he played knight d2 he brought his knight back maybe just opening up the queen's path but to where the queen cannot move anywhere i agree there's no good no square. but he's stopping the knight on f6 uh... the knights in the some knights way cannot, maybe yeah, the knights but are, another thing is he stopped b4 ah b4 means knight takes pawn correct hey but is there a disco <laughs> you mean this way yeah i mean i'm not talking about discos in new york <laughs> oh can i go Last knight point. e3 that's a nice move right i attack your rook and you take and then i take this knight oh but amruta open position queen at 7 ah exactly this could become dangerous knight cannot take it there is a pin here oh my god here there is a amazing move for black brilliant move can you guys try to find oh this is Of course, I haven't found it myself. Black to play, guys. Black But to play. 
rook d1 wow what a very move. alert huh? very well done because the rook is pinning the knight and that's why the queen cannot be taken and now with rook d1 the rook has to move and the queen is hanging nice nice fantastic so this cannot be done so 92 is an interesting attempt by maksudlu yeah but 93 could be played by uh, by i a, don't like giving the activate activating situation yeah, to not maksudlu giving this with f5. the double bishop and <coughs> f file is there anything else black can think of what would you play as arjun guys come on think you have a chance to today play like arjun and maksudlu what move would you play black to play think about it queen a6 looks weird but i would consider queen a6 that of b4 ah defending this way could be could be samai what would you play man i'm you know i guys lost me a while ago man what i am very i'm feeling like i my head is hurting <laughs> head is hurting <laughs> Suddenly man, it is seven a.m. here, man. I just, you know, came to say hi to you guys, but you guys are looking very stressed today. Oh no, so my maybe I'll sleepy, come. You should uh, not stretch yourself so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to Let leave? Let me know Samai? whenever you. Go. Yeah, bro. Since like you know a while now. Okay, Samay. Thank you so much for joining. I m maybe maybe when you're you know. Doing little chill stream. I'll join by. This is too serious for me at seven in the morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. I miss you guys, man. Bye, bye. Thank bye. Thank you, bye, Samai, for joining in and, and uh, yeah, making it a little bit more exciting yes, for a while. Came, that was, was a fun. great time. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Take care, man. Bye. Guys, that was Samai joining us all the way from US, and here we have some suggestions. Yes. Bishop coming to d6. That's a very nice move. Very oh, nice. Oh, she wants to take the bishop on e5 out. Also, the rule is that when you are ahead in material, you should trade pieces. And because black is a pawn up, she wants to trade pieces. Fantastic. But, but also the rule is when your king is weak, you should uh, not trade pieces. So two rules conflicting as of now. No, if king is weak, why should not trade the pieces? In king fact, f7. Here, here, I mean, yeah, at this you point can of still time. trade, right? Because then you are removing an attacking piece. Hmm, this one. So good move, bishop d6. Any other suggestions? Arjun has thirty. How about 30. king g8? <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted what did to he make you laugh. We sent you off, Samay, by doing some. <laughs> Very emotional things. Bye. I smiled. You said I miss you. I smiled. You are still here. Just wanted to make you laugh once again, Sagar Bhai. Now I'm going. Nice. You don't know how much I love you, Sagar Bhai. Just to see you laugh, I can do anything. <laughs> Thank you, Bhai. Thank you. All right. Now seriously, bye, guys. See Have a good night. Bye. Oh, look what Arjun has done. Knight D7. His oh, mood is knight back. I expect the knight moving away because you know. The thought that queen wants to go to h7 yeah. feels like the f6 knight cannot move. Yes, but the kind queen of is a doing prejudice there. Queen, queen goes here, and unfortunately, the bishop is gone. No, that I agree with you, but that's how the thought process went. Not right, taking right. the knight away. Okay, now what? Because the bishop is feeling like, where should I go? The white bishop, f4. f4 you can, you mean pawn f4 or bishop yeah, f4? Pawn. Pawn f o oh, nice move because ah. if you take he wants to open this rook up then the bishop looks here and the queen what a powerful combo of all the pieces no 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 nice nice, nice. but you know what he played I think he played f four no he no he didn't. played knight f three but very quickly he played very quickly there and already Arjun also makes a move Arjun plays bishop f six. Very uh, nice fight for that e5 square is going on. Both of them want that square, strategic square on the board. It's a battle of uh, really two players who love complex game. You mm. know, Amruta. If we if we can show them the video here, which we are able to see, and I ah, hope maybe we can ulta. Anyway, doesn't really matter. 
Yeah, we can make. At least they can see it. Wait. Right. Let me try. Yeah, maybe Amruta carefully, but don't drop the TV. You may have to shift that, huh? So now, after you get to see this. you may have to tell us what is happening to arjun yeah there you have arjun now you can see him we can't see him so please tell us if something happens okay so bishop to f6 and what is arjun thinking now what is parham thinking amruta because parham has to come up with a good move and by the way guys remember parham is currently one of the top rated players in the world of chess he came here with a rating of 2743 and i'm going to tell you what his live rating is now his live rating is 2741 he just lost one elo point here So two seven four no, one. No four two. He came here with four two or four yeah, three. Yeah, something two. like that. Mm. He he is now two seven four one, and he's number twelve in the world, Parham Maksudlu. And this is what I actually number fifteen. This is what I like about uh, Parham overall that he plays such fighting and uncompromising chess. but of course that gives his opponents chances and i think arjun and parham somewhere are a little similar in style oh yes actually they both like to complicate things but then that helps arjun with the black pieces because parham with 16 minutes on the clock a complicated position he's going to get into trouble yeah agreed agreed so bishop f6 parham is thinking what are what is the best way to continue here For white sagar. Very good. He says take. Oh, he took it. Acha, just you while. Sa <laughs> you said it and uh, Parham took it. Wow. So you. Uh, okay, now tell us. Of course, Arjun's take move. with uh, knight seven. Make, no. He'll make that move. Which knight should take? Because clearly you knight don't want to F6. take with the pawn. <laughs> If oh, you take no. with the pawn, then the queen comes in like happily and will crush you. Yeah. So not with the pawn. but with the king also seems a little weird <laughs> no like your king is going for a walk it does remind me of gukesh's king g to king g3 though yes. but i think what is the problem with knight 7 f6 can i not make a simple uh, move yes that what? gives up control of the key square we have been Ooh. discussing the knight comes in and then this pawn could become weak so amruta how about taking with this knight keeping oh. this under control but the knight on d5 was so good if you go back then it definitely gives some compensation to white yes but what would you play like let's G4. imagine g4 g4 han ji <laughs> g4 oh i never ever thought about this move but imagine g4 what if i just block you completely and then your king is also weak no, later look at i'll go back with the bishop Look at your bishop here on h3. Oh, terrible bishop! But it is as bad as your seventh rank h7. Anyway, we can continue our arguments later again. Right now, <laughs> coming. No, but it's G4. It's a, it's an exciting idea. Yeah. It is an exciting. I mean, look, it should have been really bad, Sagar. Like right. the computer should have hated it. Oh, now we have it on the big screen. Wow, Amruta, we need to turn this around again. Why? Because now they can see it on the big screen. acha yes wow thank you they oh. have managed to fix it the nordwin team here amazing okay matlab for uh, the live commentary as well now yes now they will send this feed then we have to shift it will be next journey okay there. whatever we get <laughs> abhi from now is still amazing okay but ठीक है फगेड़ा बट जी फोर लेट्स गेट द मूव्स फ्रॉम द चैट बिकॉज़ चैट इज रियली रियली या जी फोर इज जी फोर इज नॉट गुड वी हैव सम वेरी स्ट्रांग प्लेयर्स अमृता यस दे मे हैव अ बेटर सॉल्यूशन देन जी फोर डी ई फोर ई फोर ओह ई फोर व्हाट अबाउट यू 
E4. You also want to go E4. E4. So they want to go E4, E5. Basically, opening yeah. ka first move. <laughs> no, E4, E5. But E4 is a good move if you get E5. The question is whether you will get it or not. Also, because now the queen protects here, it I can I can go back with my king, and after you push the pawn, my knight can come here. Yeah. No, the queen always protected that, but I think the worry was. Uh... No, when you played C5, then only it started protecting, right? Otherwise, hmm. the pawn was here. So now, if I jump in here, trying to attack this pawn twice, then knight my knight can drop back and. Oh, defend. I like it. That one knight on f8 will defend everything on the king's side. Then you have the three pawns against that one pawn, plus a rook on the open file yeah. and a knight in the center. So this looks really nice position. So oh, for but, e4, but for him plays queen c2. He does not even play e4. So he stops. What has happened, Amrita? I have never seen something like this. What? So many clocks. 32.50. What is happening today? No, but that's Leech's thing, no? Yes. I've never seen something like this. Five, Nobody can six see it. Clocks. Anyway, no. Ah, they can see Everyone it. Everyone can see it. Okay, interesting. But is it on our OBS stream as well, Sagar? Maybe once, if we yeah. just check that. Yes, it must be there. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's a new day with new things. Maybe new happenings. But so, Queen C2. What's happening? The only question is, is this issue from our end or somewhere else? How does it matter? Let's focus. Queen C2 has been played. What should black play is the question. But I should check it out with our uh, arbiter if what has gone wrong. Ah, because you think it's a leeches issue. Yeah, let me just quickly check. Yeah. Till, till that time you can continue. Okay, let me ask. Maybe Hari's game, Hari. The video is of Hari. Oh yeah, let's have a look at Hari. So last few moves where we left were H3, F5 was played. He went B4. 28th move. King F6 by Hari. He's threatening King G7. Actually trapping the bishop because you don't have this still. So bishop went to G8. And now Hari goes knight G5. Oop, very quickly they are making the moves. Attacks this pawn. Forced h4. Knight goes to f3. Once again attacks this. Forced h5. And king g5. So Hari is winning the pawn back or what? <coughs> if bishop f7, the only way to defend is. Is there a way to win this pawn? Do you see it? So knight e5. Uh, let's say you go bishop e8. No, but I'll take your knight, right? Yeah. Knight, 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 <laughs> when you went, they went. <laughs> it's working okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we were we were looking at a4. Now you will go knight f6, attacks this, and if the bishop moves, uh, takes and yeah, Hari's Hari's game is definitely going towards a draw. But this could also be risky, no? For ah, okay, a5 is coming. Okay, a5, yeah. Okay, so Hari's game going towards a draw. Levon's game, if we have a look, this is the car. Oh, but engine is not working. Mm. So you do you do have to because today mind is not working the best. So maybe engine needs to work. <laughs> no, but Amruta, Levon's game does not feel like a winning position, no? For uh... no, F five was supposed to come at some point of time. So F five did happen and. Uh, like the black rook on the file, these two pawns at some point they will start rolling. So it is going to get complex. 30 minutes for Levon, 13 minutes for Predke, which 13. Levon is very, you know, very good at very using tricky, the tricky. Okay, uh, time difference. Okay, I have difference. one question. Why can't we jump in with our knight? Why can't we jump in with our knight, Amruta, is the question here. Knight's legs are paining. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, sorry. That could but. be a possible move. Is it going to start working? It seems. Hello? Yes. So knight d6 is a possibility here. But maybe it's not where uh, Levon wants to put his knight. But he could also, Amruta, get greedy and snatch this pawn. But then he would also lose his pawn. So it's a position where two pawns are hanging. This in is hanging and this is hanging. Yeah, in fact, if it starts moving towards complexity, I think it is in favor of Predke because he fought from a difficult position. Yeah. Only time-wise, uh, it favors uh, Lebon. So, yeah, let's go to Arjun's game. I think that's the key game for today because will Arjun go to three and a half or not? A big question there. Okay. Let's go there. Queen c2. Guys, what will you play as Arjun Eric? I see here. Black to move. It's an important moment in the game. You don't want to move your knight from here because the white knight jumps in. What moves come to your head? Black to move. Arjun plays queen a5, Amruta. What's his idea? Firstly, I mean, apart from controlling the A file, I would ask. Yeah, I mean, Queen A5, he's just looking in this direction. And but also here on A file. Oops, sorry. So he's... No, but you can't move the knight no, on but I'm, I'm actually right? surprised. What is his idea? I think his idea is to bring the queen here and here. Slowly. That could be the idea. Oh, nice. Okay, what if rook d1? Ah, exactly. My, my question as well. What if this move? Not so easy for black. Maybe knight f8. Check. King g8. And this knight defends this pawn. So yeah, this seems like a... But how easy or difficult you would say in this such a position to go a move like a knight of eight? Not so difficult, but not, I mean, it's not so easy. Like when he has gone for a move like queen a5. I don't know why Arjun played queen a5, Because to be the honest, queen yes. felt safer defending the e6 pawn. Yeah, I so, like the queen here, but I think Arjun wants to do this. He wants to activate his queen. He has 28 minutes. Maksudlu has 14 minutes on the clock. So rook t1 is, can't hear you well. Hmm. Oh, we have a new stream now. Amruta, we are back to that old setup. Really? Yeah. Now we also have two sounds uh, here, but yes, it's uh, we are back here, and uh, oh, this nice. is amazing. And uh, oh, this is nice. amazing. Oh, he plays rook b1. Rook b1 has been played. Okay, rook b1 has been played, guys. I just don't understand what these two guys are playing. There is an open file. He puts his rook behind the pawn. There is a... <laughs> he goes with the queen to the side. I think the whole play revo is revolving around Arjun wanting to push those three pawns. Yeah. And uh, Maksudlu stopping those three pawns. Yeah. Oh, I know what he wants. Yes? B4. B4. Yeah. Ah. Ah. O also, I think he wants to play b3. Because after, let's imagine that I make some random move. I don't know what. Mm. Uh, rook a8, imagine. I was just wondering if b3 made any sense. Because take would mean queen b3. And I attack here and here. Somehow. Just a, just a thought that he wants to go for this idea. 
No, we can. No, this now this is not working. No, mm. the camera is not working. We won't be seeing. Uh, director sub, can we get Anish on Zoom call? No, right? Ah, because we shifted no now to their setup, so he cannot so come. So he cannot come on his any other Zoom no, call. No, but he can come uh, via ah, audio. Uh, he can come via Zoom ah, uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp call. call here. We can ask if Anish is ready to come via. Ah, we can show the video here also through Zoom. Call. One second. Let's let's see if Anish is ready to video. join. Video. If you can show the video. Ah, but not our video is also not there, right? So, how can we show? Ha! See, in one screen we can show. No, he cannot come. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Ah, knight h4 with the idea of queen g6. But remember, whenever you move your knight, my knight is ready to deal with it. Yes, but what is there on this diagonal? Only the rook. Oh, by the way, let's forget everything that we were talking about because Arjun goes g5. <laughs> Arjun Erigaisi has no fear. Fearless guy. He just pushes his pawn. He opens up this diagonal. But he's saying to his knight that... Yeah, he stopped knight h4. Yes, that's one point. But also he wants to win a piece. If he can. Yeah? You were thinking about the same move. Wow, that's nice. But now I, I do feel that this is a very risky decision by Arjun Erigaisi. He has pushed his G-pawn. Ah, we have Anish here. Let's see. Hello, okay. Anish. Pa in the meantime, Parth is trying. Hello, Anish. Hello. Yeah. Anish, today uh, we do not have somehow a lot of technical difficulties are there. So maybe we can uh, do it via this uh, call is one idea. But another is Parth is trying or something. Parth or the director will message you in some time if it works out. Is it okay? But right now we can have his audio. Uh, we can just do with this call, yeah? Sure, sure. Okay. Guys, can you hear Anish? Otherwise, uh, no, we have to keep it closer here. The Zoom call was not working. Yes, I got the one I was in. Yes, but now we shifted from our OBS to normal broadcast. So it uh, it's now uh, gone there. Ah, okay, okay. So I'll hold it now. So G5, uh, we were just looking. I know on Zoom call, you can see the live board, but. But I already closed the call, so I don't see the. Can can you come to the Zoom tell. call? Yeah, I'll come to Zoom call. Then you can see the board. Yeah. Okay. So Anish, this is the position yeah. between Arjun and Parham Maksudlu right now. The last move uh -huh. played was G five. Yeah. And and wow. one one idea is G four here. Yeah, it's such an unusual play. The last few moves, yeah, it's completely shocking. Like I was even wondering if the broadcast is working or you have issues. <laughs> <laughs> what but did you find uh, unusual? If you the last like four moves, mm -hmm. they are just so surreal, yeah. No, but he didn't from play where? Rugby one. He didn't play rugby no, one. No, which four moves Anish is talking about? Yeah, please tell us. No, no, I mean, okay, so far, let's say it's kind of normal. Bishop of six is a normal move. Takes on f six is a normal move. Uh, yeah, now queen c2 is very deep move. Uh, but okay, it's possible. You prevent before and you prepare rook a1. Maybe you prepare rook a1, yeah, which I didn't think you prepared. Yeah, uh, but Arjun plays queen a5. Is that a good move? Yeah, to me it's, it's playable it's somehow. I it's didn't, we didn't I understand think. it. So yeah, queen a5 not you know, understand. It's uh, such a, such a deep move queen a5 wow what could be the missing ideas like the deep ideas which you are seeing there has to be something 
Yeah, I mean, I guess he controls the A file. Maybe he wants Queen A4. But, but maybe just nothing is moving, yeah? Maybe he doesn't know which piece to move. Maybe <laughs> that's the thing. Mm. Yeah, because if you don't, maybe uh, if you look, move back, what else to play? Maybe that's the, that's the question. Rook what else to move? A seemed like a natural move. Then rook d1. Yeah, then, then rook d1, then I'll target the d7. He wants to meet rook d1 with knight f8, maybe. Ah, right. He wants to keep fighting so, the d file. So if yeah, this I guess he just fights for the files. Yeah, maybe this. Something like that he wants. But this knight f8 idea is uh, out of the blue. Is it a little difficult one to see in during the game? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think he, that's what he intends. I mean, I would wonder instead of queen a5, why not then queen knight f8 directly? Maybe, but mm. I guess he thinks the a file. Yeah, maybe if knight f8 directly, maybe he thinks rook a1. Right. So Arjun's queen mm, f5 yeah. quite deep. He plays it. Rook C1. Actually, we were thinking Even he deeper. played Rook B1, but okay, Rook C1 was played. Yeah, both make equally a little, uh, <laughs> little sense. But I mean, they're very deep because again, Rook D1, he thinks Knight F8. So, kind of, they just don't know what to do, both of them. And they just sort of make these slow moves, uh, keeping the tension. Yeah, interesting position. Uh, and he played down G5. Yeah, yeah he played yeah, G5. Some, uh, and guess Maksudlu's next move. I, I think <gasps> this is a broadcast oh. error. No, it's not. Oh my god. Yes, Anish Damu, I can give you um uh all the house back. <laughs> <laughs> if you guess the move. Which, <laughs> <house right>? which <laughs> if you guess the move. So you have taken his house, yeah, in your control? <laughs> Impossible to guess this move. Yes, yes, please take that. I need to eat few Guys, ice don't help him. I need to get into this. Uh, <laughs> I need to get into this. I need to eat few ice creams. I'm racist. Let me so I'm it. Parham. I live in Iran. I'm married. I'm very okay. happy that I'm married. And I just had ice cream in the morning. What am I thinking now? Okay. <laughs> you. <d> <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking that G4 is dangerous for him because I can take in Queen H7 so I'm not scared of G4 <coughs> ah so uh, oh, no G4. no not that way Amruta <laughs> if black no, no, plays G4, G4 then yeah, bishop G4 of. and queen comes in ah so that ah. is not a threat actually but well, I'm Param thinks it's not also, also G4 and H4 he thinks it's not a threat rook D1 rook D1 is normal move Anish then you <laughs> oh, okay sorry sorry it's not what he played it's an insane move. Can I show you? You think I'll not guess, yeah? You think I cannot Im guess? Impossible, impossible. Okay, only one try, and that's impossible. Otherwise, it okay, let could me try be. One more, yeah, Last yeah try. one try, Last try. and G2. that's we think impossible. King G2 is also. Look at one. Look at one, yeah? No, I thought about it, yeah, I thought about it. You, you thought? thought? Why? Why? Because you said this, an insane move. <laughs> but why would he play? No, it's, it's very deep. The position is very deep. Uh, is it really deep or is it really a confusion going on in the minds now? Because what can be deep about rook f1? Ah, got it. He's right. What? f4 he wants to try. Oh, knight takes g5 and f4. Somebody. I don't know knight no, g5, no, no, but f4 for sure. Knight d2 f4. Knight e1 he okay, wants so first of all, you g what if what if g4? You said bishop g4, right? How does it work? Knight g4? King, ah, uh, per perpetualer? No, what? if king f6, hmm? has to h3 see. or? h3, yes, very nice. But how come you're better? Queen takes f6. I think, yeah, ah, the king is too... No perpetually. Yeah. In fact, white would be the one to try with the queen and knight. He might lose the piece here. Hmm. Okay, okay, I, I, I understood, I understood, I understood, I understood, I understood. Hmm. I understood everything. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Black's next move is Knight of Fate. Knight of Fate. Okay. And now he wants Knight E5. Hmm. Uh, King G7. And he thinks that maybe F4, but the Queen D2, I don't know. What happens after Queen D2? Yeah, Black, Black is better. Hmm, so even that, but so what if knight f8 actually? Is black not just better? Yeah, knight f8, king here and it's... Can you stop the queen d2 idea for a while right now? Maybe not. 
Rook D1? Why? But then again, okay, yeah, but, but still. No, no, no. Rook D1 is not. No, no. <laughs> so then you don't play Rook F1. Okay. Exactly. Rook D1, Rook F1 exactly is not to go on Rook D1. That's the whole point. How how difficult, Anish, is your black's best move? Oh, for Anish, no. Anish, he, he had mentioned this, in fact. Yeah, yeah. It's not uh, difficult. It's just... Um, it spoils the structure. Queen B1. But Anish, I don't understand. Oh. One second. Firstly, like when C3. Queen A4, can you not just take and the C4, C5 pawns are so bad? Yeah, but you are one down. Yeah, you are one pawn down already. But no, we'll G4 is yeah, coming. You will took knight B6. Lose it. But the problem, it will be bad, but then you are pawn down with white. So black is just still pawn up. Yeah. Oh. Split pawn, but uh, one extra. Okay. You want end game, of course. You're up a pawn. Wow. Okay. So that's why Queen A4. So not taking. Mm, yeah. Queen B1, do you want to go like C3 to co connect the, the Queen? C3? Wow. But BC3? Anish is on fire. G4. Ah, the Queen on A4 defends. Wow. Amazing point. Amazing that point. is too good. Perhaps uh, plays uh, position is difficult actually, so he didn't know what to play. He's uh, drifting, but it's understandable. He has little time. Position is difficult. So okay, Arjun is a favorite to win this game. Uh, do we have some more games remaining? Yes, Sanan versus uh, Hari Krishna is going on. Mm. No, this you know this is like like a copy paste of my game against uh, Gukesh from Norway Chess. It ended we had, in a draw. Yeah, yeah, it was very similar. Like, also, I was down a pawn. Also, he had some knight trapped somewhere, like this, on b7. Okay. And uh, also, it was, yeah, I was suffering, but it's a draw. But just it's just a draw, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, f-pawn is but, some sort of play. But it feels like there could be some uh, tricks that could happen here. Like, can white somehow try for more or... I don't see anything. Like, uh, what is the? I don't see any trick. What is the reason why white is better? I don't see any. I was thinking if we see. can use somehow these two pawns. But I, yeah. I can go bishop is b6. If I want to be safe. Oh. I can also go a b. b5. Oh, no, nice. but I can do either. I can also go a b b a6 b5. I don't think b5 b6 is. A... I mean, if you had all the time in the world, um, you could also go on like knight d8, knight c6 first. But I have f pawn. I'm going f3, f2. No, it's completely fine. No? I don't see any. Uh, I don't even think black is on the bad side. I think just f pawn is pushing. Okay, got it. So this one looks very comfortably equal for Hari Krishna. Uh, and then we have this game of Levon versus Alexander oh, Predka. Mm, yeah. yeah, Levon is in uh, such poor shape in this event. Mm. Very he unfortunate. He got a good position out of the opening. Yeah. Because Predka, who lost all the games so far. Yeah. The yeah, last three. So you would think, what more, yeah? What more do you... Do you need? But mm, amazing. Yeah, he, he must have uh, very, very low confidence at the moment, for some reason. And here you think Black is back now in the game, right? Clearly. Can we have Levon's camera? Uh, I, I mean, I also see the bar uh, as well, which is not uh, helping. But I, I guess the... It doesn't look bad either, yeah. Uh, I mean, clearly at some point, uh, if you go earlier, there were some opportunities, yeah. Black was a bit uncoordinated. Yeah. And now he got a five, and then he managed to get coordination back. Yeah, looks pretty stable. Looks very, very equalish. Mm. What happened? Where did it go wrong for him? So here, I yeah, think no, so white is yeah, like here, yes. Well, it has to be, of course, very concrete. Yeah, so f five. I did so. Okay, takes, takes. Take, take, knight. Yeah, oh, but somehow knight already, no, but already, already looking okay for black. Maybe, maybe yeah, he no, had to be good. greedy here after f5, but I don't know if it was humanly possible to play a queen b6. Hmm. But it's not even greedy because F E no? Knight G five? Yeah. 
with knight c5. Mm, I guess getting kind of, a c5 kind of square pretty. for your knight could be the point. Okay. Yeah, he had to, uh, he, I mean, he clearly lacks optimism. I mean, his decisions are very defensive in the whole tournament. Mm. He, he's just very defensive. He's choosing, uh, he's choosing stability over, uh, over instability. And that's a sign of, uh, bad. I mean, I myself play like this very often. It's a sign of uh, low confidence. You just, you just want stability. Right. And that's not good. Yeah. No, yeah, no, it's uh, probably just going to be some kind of draw because uh, black defends, yeah, all the... everything. Bishop on c6 is an amazing defender. Defends both the pawns, such a stable bishop. Powerful, stable bishop. And knight on d6, you know, it's... Uh, it would have made sense if the board would be full of pieces, but it's sort of... It kind of clamps black, but all the pieces of black, they are playing around the knight. They ignore it. The bishop right. on c6 is sort of ignoring it. Right. Uh, right. Knight... Yeah, that knight is like, you know, it's, uh, it makes sense if bishop was on c8, pawn was on b7, you know? It would prevent the d pawn from advancing. But now it's kind of nicely standing there, but you just ignore, you play around it. It's not, it's not relevant at all that it's there. Mm. Correct. Yeah, it's uh, just very fine. Very fine for black. Very okay, fine. That's, I think that's uh, it, yeah? Because uh, also Gukesh game is drawn, Hare Krishna is going to draw. We have this game and we have the most exciting game, Parham. It might, it might, he, oh my god, he's played g4, what happened? Oh. Queen d2, yeah, queen d2, he went no, no. Oh, oh, he went queen a4. Oh, he found oh. queen a4, wow. Oh, Arjun found queen a4. Queen d2? Queen d2, mm -hmm. g4. Oh, but queen h, so now he doesn't have that uh, queen h7 ideas. Queen h6, gh3, knight g5, is there anything with queen h6? <laughs> I think he will take, knight takes. I was thinking of giving a check, but the other yeah. knight comes, or this knight. I don't know which knight. So, uh, Anish <laughs> can join Vimix and can wear the headset. Anish can join the call. Oh, you can They've join the call. They worked out. Mm -hmm. The Vimix one. Okay. Actually, Param has only five minutes on his clock, so... Uh, for this position when he has made moves like rook c1 and rook f1 it feels like he's already not able to deal with the position it's highly unusual kind of position right sagar yeah yeah and i think overall here uh, arjun is going to really make this very difficult for parham now no, but uh, queen f4, uh, knight f6 is the yeah, problem, take, right? Yeah, take queen f4 and not this knight. Then? I, I was wondering if this knight or this knight. B because see, if you take play this knight, you lose this pawn on h6. But maybe you can live with it. You are a piece up. Hmm. And if you bring this knight, then after h3, this knight is kind of trapped. Because of... Yeah, if you play first h3, then maybe just queen knight goes back. Knight e5. But, ah. But if I take, queen takes. Yeah, it is. But if you think about it, like let's say, then two knights are the best friends of the king. Fine. Yeah, but somehow t7, yes. Yes, but I mean you don't have any threat. Yes, I will take. Yeah, you can. Rook? Rook d1. Okay. Here. Somehow, somehow the king is going to be very safe here. I mean, when you have two knights around your king, it sometimes turns into quite a safe position. So, yeah, this is now actually, can we have uh, the video of Arjun? Is it possible? If we can have the video, of yeah, there we have it. He take he took here, so I think your idea happened. Bishop g4, knight g4. He played h3, 
he went back and now Parham has snatched this pawn. Okay. Now Arjun is a full piece up. Oh, if that happens on the board. It has happened. This has happened. Yeah, queen c2 is one idea. What else? Queen one c2 is, two. is nice. Very nice move. Okay, awesome. Okay, hello Anish. Yeah, Anish. It seemed like <coughs> Arjun found all the best moves. Uh, and he's able to hold this. You mean hold and win? Yes, I mean... Because no, if you hold the uh, upper piece... I mean, hold in the win. sense, no, no attack, sort of. Uh, yeah, and yeah, no, it's uh, Parham, you know, uh, in this tournament, apart from Gukesh, like, it happens very often, there are like two types of uh, players. There are those who uh, want but can't, and those who can but don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Parham, he, he wants but he can't, somehow. You can't hear Anish, He yes? really wants to win. Sorry? Ah, sorry. Here, if, uh, sir, can you, Anish's sound, is it possible? Anish's sound is no, not coming on No, just on, on the TV. TV here for the live viewers. Uh, right now the TV is on mute. Yes. So they just... Anish, can you say something? Yeah, hello? You hear yeah, me? Yeah, yes. What, what does it, what was that uh, some people want but they can't? No, no, I'm saying in this event, apart from Gukesh, there are like two play types of players. There are those who who want, but they can't, and those who can, but they don't want. Uh -huh. So Parham is uh, yes. a player who definitely wants, but somehow he can't. Right, right. He He's, he's trying very hard to win games here. Uh, it's very, very uh, obvious. He is very, very fighting and uh, taking a lot of risks, but uh, yeah, he can't uh, force it. Yeah, it's just not... Uh, it's only backfiring because Arjun just played a very good game. True, true. Yeah, Arjun today has uh, found the right opening for himself mm -hmm. and has played it well. Yeah, Parham is taking crazy risk. If you see in the opening of bishop g5, d takes c4, it is Botvinnik variation is incoming. Yeah. And in that moment, I mean, Parham goes uh, a4. Okay, this is still a uh, theory. Uh, b5. And now, of course, the theory is to take on b5 and then uh, twice, and then queen b6 and knight c3, queen b2. Like, black is trying to m to make some draw there, like bishop d2, whatever. It's all theory, some knight d5. But, um, but instead of going for any of these f forcing lines where he trusts uh, Arjun did his homework, he goes for g3, which you can do, of course, like it's like a gambit variation. Uh, I mean, he went g3 yeah, instead of a, b. But it's uh, such a risky one because you already have a bishop on g5 as well. Like normally you can, like let's say instead of bishop g5, you can go g3, yeah? Move before bishop g5. Here. Yeah, and then they go dc4, bishop g2, b5, uh, castle. And okay, yeah, let's say castle, whatever. And now you can choose still to play bishop g5 or not, right? Right. In usually right. actually they don't right. play like knight e5 and a4 and so on. Right. But he's decided to do this pawn sacrifice, which is kind of risky even here, to do it with the bishop on g5 as well. So he just, uh, I mean, he just so desperately tried to get an unknown, unbalanced position. Mm. And it was clearly not, uh, you know, it was clearly not part of his preparation or anything. It was just improvisation. And yeah, just crazy risks and... He got actually an interesting position. I mean, knight f7 was also very inventive. And... But but just very risky, I of course. I didn't understand yeah. this queen a1 move back. Did you get it? Like, why to bring the queen back? Like, he could do something else. Bishop e3. Uh, yeah, I think the question is always, yeah, what, what other move you want to play? So you want to play bishop e3? Yes. Okay, let's see. Bishop, what if bishop c5? Take, take. Because in general, trading the dark squared bishops is not in white's favor, right? You have a bishop pair and you get rid of it. Yeah. But the, so I just don't think he liked this uh, development. Queen a1, your queen is actively placed on a8 if the knight moves. But what does it do? Stops knight d7. But what does it do exactly there on a8, Sagar? It's a... Uh, I mean, black wants to play... Yeah, I, again, so we have to make some move. What, what move you want to play here with, with white? 
Rook I don't know, you and if H3, here. just no, stop. Okay, let's say H3. Uh, let's say I play... G4. Let's say I play... Knight D... Okay, first of all, from Parham's perspective, I'm not sure he's happy with the Knight D7 endgame, but okay, let's say Knight D5. Ah, Knight D5, right. Bishop takes... King takes. Yeah, I don't think that uh, he wants to trade darts for bishops, uh, Sagar. I just don't think he wants that. Acha. Okay. For him. That's why he played queen a1. So he, he went queen a1 so that after knight d5 he can play like knight e4 and then the queen, he wants to activate the queen via b1. That was his idea. Okay. He thought the queen on a8 is doing nothing. Uh huh. By the he way, I need just a their, small uh, update. Uh, Hari mm -hmm. and Sanan have drawn their game. Yeah, it's expected. It's expected. Yeah, okay. no, it was it was very fine for Black. Good defense by uh, Harry. There was no, and it's good because it leaves um, some excitement for tomorrow. Now Harry is able to win the first place ahead of Gukesh if he wins tomorrow's game. Right, right. Tomorrow can. I hope he'll be able to to leave uh, Chennai safely <laughs> after he does it. But he will be able to win the tournament. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if the government at the border, you know, but he was to go back. Anisha's confidence. <laughs> He'll be like, sir, your documents are not in order. Uh, sorry, what? No, your uh, documents are not in order. Can you please come with us? <laughs> Maybe. But if but if he is able to leave uh, home safely, he can bring back the trophy if he wins tomorrow. Yes. Then he will. I think he's not playing the World Rapid and Blitz, Hari Krishna. So he'll go back to Prague. So he has nothing to lose. Yeah, <laughs> he'll go. Yeah, yeah. He'll go. Can you tell me the prize distribution in the tournament? I just want to know what is the. Um, can you show us the prizes? First, second, third, and so on. Uh, maybe director Sam, if it's possible to show the prizes first. Just to prize see what is exactly is Harry is fighting for. Eighteen thousand dollars, first place. Second. Because he doesn't care, of course, about my candidate spot. It's not none of his business. He doesn't care at all. <laughs> but let's see. So eighteen thousand dollars is first place. Yes. Second is. And second is. 12,000. And third? Uh, third is, uh, I think, 9,600 something. Uh -huh. And fourth? It's 12, it's f 15 lakh, 10 lakh. Yeah. But it's all shared, yes, if you are on the same points. Yeah, so if he loses, let's say tomorrow, yeah, like uh, how much does he lose? That's the question, also. Okay, let let me tell you exactly, so you know. Uh, he lose a lot, no? Yeah, if that's he very loses, nice. Okay. Then that would be a huge. Oh, loss. here it is. Oh, nice. It's on the screen. Yeah. It's a big loss, huh? Yeah, no, it's not. It's a it's a tricky. It's a tricky one. Not sure. Uh, so he's risking to gain six thousand from twelve to eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he, if he loses, he'll share like third. He will share like I, mean, I don't know, like fourth, sixth. Yeah, I mean, he's risking as much, pretty much. Yeah, if not more. Yeah, not sure if it makes much sense for him to to play for win tomorrow, but um, he should, of course. But Gukesh also Hopefully might try, right? Because imagine if Arjun wins today, and then tomorrow he faces no, no, Eliano. He and if Arjun also wins tomorrow, then it means that he joins Gukesh on the same score. Then it becomes a tie. And then Gukesh wins the circuit, right? Anyway. He is then very...
Yeah, but World Rapid and Blitz, I think it uh, only changes if I finish in the top three. Right, right. I don't think it changes anyway. But then the... top three is the still the thing needed. No, but the top three is anyway, like, it doesn't matter. Top three is anyway, takes me ahead of him, even if he wins tomorrow. Ah, okay. So for Gukesh, there's no point to play for win. For Hari, there is some point, but I think Hari will play for a win probably, but not not uh, uh, in a too risky way, which is difficult. Yeah, meanwhile, Ar Arjun is just collecting all the pawns, yeah? Yes. What happened last two, three? He learned, you know, from yesterday that, okay, these three past pawns, it's all very good, but uh, it's better to have an extra piece too. <laughs> True. True. He has now an extra piece and three connected pawns. So he played rook g8, queen f4. Yeah, no, it's uh, Parham is just Parham checks. One minute going through the motions on the clock for Parham. The horse on f3 is fall falling. Yeah, queen f4 back. I oh, so rook is hanging. Yeah, what does he want to play? King g2 or what? Yeah, it's, it's completely lost. Oh, he played king g2. You know, at some point, queen takes f2 might become the way to. Simplify and win. I'm not now, but after c3, somewhere later, ah, queen nice. f2, queen queen f2 and... Queen f2 and Like maybe c3 first. Actually, Arjun will take on g4 now. Because. Queen d7? King f6. Ah, king f6. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, is yeah. Is it yeah, a yeah. finish? Oh, yes, that's, uh, finish. Oh, that's the yeah. finisher. Yeah. Oh, finish, will yeah. Arjun find it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh, it's of course. straightforward. Arjun takes yeah. on g4, and no. then he's just winning the if game. If he takes. Man, but for Par, I mean, this round with the black pieces for Arjun against the top seed yeah, to beat, big win. yeah, it would be a very huge thing. Yeah, Arjun comes very close always. Yeah, comes very close to the to the first place. But uh, now again, he won yesterday as well. It would have been very very good for him. Now he's a little bit uh, short, but a very good game today for sure. Mm -hmm. And Levon, if he can, ooh. Ooh, this is looking very safe for Predke. Because it's like he's got this entire draw setup. Offered, yeah? Look, 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 look. Sagar, sorry, look, draw for it. Oh, drawn. Which game? Yeah. Which? This one, this one, this one. Ha Aronian ah. Predke is drawn. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's move draw. the camera to Arjun because Nigel. Yeah, then moment. this is the last game. Queen G. Oh, no, tech check has happened. King f7 and king g2, yes. Yeah, he's just making sure. Making sure. Knight g4 is, uh, yeah, it's a kind of uh, unexpected way to, to do it. How long will but it if take? If you spot it, uh, if you, oh, he needs to make sure, because everything is winning. You don't want to look stupid, right? You don't want to blunder. I mean, it's completely winning position. I mean, I guess c3 or queen e4, any move is completely but winning. But you are right. He might You don't want to ruin it. Ah, okay, this is the most uh, no. This is the worst way to to win. I mean, this is terrible. <laughs> but then you may want then to like go yesterday. for this. After yesterday's lo uh, draw. Just like yesterday. Mm. No, no. You, I mean, everything is winning, so you you don't want this. But knight g4, yeah, it's, he will do. I think knight g4. But you need to make sure. So you need to spend some time. That there are no miracles. Knight e4, but then queen takes d7. Check. Yeah, when you find mate in three, look for better, yeah, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look for alternatives for knight g4. Now look, he looks like a man who is about to play knight g4. Yeah. He's a little bit nervous because you have to be a little bit nervous before you play it. He oh, takes it. yes, he yeah. goes wow. for that, the best move in the position. Giving up a piece. Yeah. Oh, Maksudlu plays knight g5 check. Oh, knight g5. Nice, he played it. But what if Rook takes? Arjun had seen it. He had seen it. King f6. Yes, I agree. He may not. King f6, king f5. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah, he did play that king the f6 king march. right now. You also win the king of the hill and you win the chess game. <laughs> it's both bonus points. <laughs> Queen f8, there is knight f6 back. Check. Sorry? No, there is no queen. Okay, he played king f5. Wow, that's happening on the board. Oh, resigns. Maksudlu resigns Resign? there. Resign? Wow. It's done? 
Yes. Arjun has won. Yeah, this uh, tough destiny of uh, ambitious players that sometimes you're uh, you're winning, sometimes you're losing. True, true. Mm. Can't have it all both ways. Can't have it all. If we could have Arjun, that would be great. Yeah, good game by Arjun today. I think he provided the only decisive game. Actually, in this tournament, every round has at had at least one decisive game. <coughs> Someone has won. So that has provided always the excitement. Uh, and I like how Maksudlu is still analyzing there. He is not that. And he's smiling. Wow, <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah, he takes the losses very well. Because you have to, Sagar. If you are playing like Parham, yeah. you are voluntarily inflicting uh, occasionally a loss upon yourself because you are taking too much risk. You have to be fine with it. Otherwise, uh, how will you, you continue doing it? If, it? if it hurts you very much, you will at some point stop yeah, taking all the risks. Right. Mm. So Parham is just... Uh, he is very, uh, very sportive in that sense. And he is taking the losses. And uh, he keeps going fearlessly next time as well. Yeah. True, true. Tomorrow he'll come they don't all, hurt gu all guns blazing. I think tomorrow he faces uh, Predke, right? He's left him to play. But today's game uh, yeah, but he doesn't play was a little difficult one, yeah, right? Like Predke. in terms of the, this position Arjun and Maksudlu played. Sorry? Yeah, so tomorrow basically the only, the only thing that matters. Yeah. The only thing that matters is um, Hare Krishna against Gokesh. Literally, the only game that matters. From what perspective? From a first place perspective. Nothing else can happen. No, even Arjun's game will matter. Yeah, but it doesn't uh, matter for uh, anyone. Um, for the circuit standing, I mean. It will, no. If he joins... If, if it's not enough Gokesh for Arjun... loses with Hari, not... let's say. Yeah, no, if I... No, for circuit, no. yes. Yeah, no, then still Arjun is not getting in. Arjun is just not getting in. The thing is here that for the FIDE circuit, Gukesh finishing first in any capacity with any number of tied places, he still uh, reaches the top. So tomorrow if Hari wins, only then Gukesh doesn't finish top uh, joint first. But if Hari wins, then Arjun doesn't get either. Yes, that. Ah. So because, because Hari, Hari has beaten us. Arjun also. So that way, Hari gets the first place. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Hari wins, Hari wins. And if Gukesh uh, draws or wins, then Gukesh wins. So it's very simple. The other games, they have no um, impact right, right. on the FIDE circuit right. in that sense. Right. Okay. It's an interesting, yeah, it's uh, nice. interesting situation tomorrow. It all depends on Hari's ambition, perhaps. And I don't know, uh, to some extent, Gukesh is, but I don't know. Uh, I generally feel no. that Gukesh will come like with an ambitious mood. Like I felt it today as well, but he drew very quickly. No, no, but today it made sense for sure to try uh, to play a little yeah. bit for... Uh, yeah, because, uh, because other games could have gone differently. Correct. But the way all the games went, that was good for Gukesh. And tomorrow, I mean, the draw clinches him the... Feel a circuit lead, yeah? yeah it's just... Uh, there's no point for Gukesh to... And whether he wins or draws, I mean, if I uh, finish, whatever, top three in the World Rapid, um, then uh, he's anyway going to be behind me. So it's not like it may makes any difference for him. So he just... Uh, for him, a draw is a win. Yeah. But the question is only for Hari. Yeah, what is... If, if Hari is... Uh, I guess Hari will play uh, at least a little bit. He's white, so... Yeah, he will play it. I mean, he will not force a draw from the opening. I, that, would, that would be a little bit embarrassing, I guess, because, okay, he wants to also show that he's playing for first place. But he has also something to lose, so he will probably not burn all the bridges. Right. Yeah, right. the prize money is quite a lot of difference. Also, first round, Hari beat Arjun. Yes. So, last round, he will try to beat Gukesh right. in that sense. Right. That's true. That's true. Could be very interesting. That will be, of course, uh, uh, funny, yeah. <laughs> We will, uh, you know, the Dutch uh, Federation, uh, Dutch Air Force will send a plane to evacuate him from Chennai. <laughs> you should not worry. We will send the plane, air, you know, the army plane to evacuate him <laughs> safely. <laughs> you can tell him that. You should today. go to Dutch embassy right away after the after the, the win, the run. 
<laughs> you can tell him that run today. to the embassy wait for the plane <laughs> I'm sure Anish this will be your message to Hari next <laughs> after this stream. <laughs> no, yes, you should, you, should tell, you should tell him that he is fine. He just wins the game. He runs straight to the embassy. <laughs> he stays there. The army army plane lands on the roof of the embassy. Takes uh, Hari. There he flies with the escort of four uh, four planes <laughs> safely. <laughs> Yeah, will be very yeah. interesting to see. But Anish, thank you for joining us today and being such a wonderful sport as always. To see the games together with you is a huge pleasure. Uh, and I hope that tomorrow we will be tomorrow. The game start one and half hours before normal time, so it might be a bit too early. But mm, nice. we'll figure out. One thirty nice. p.m. Yeah, so one thirty. Okay, excellent. Uh, Thanks, Sagar, and see you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Guys, that was Anish Giri joining us all the way. Uh, will Arjun join us? Can we can we look at Pankaj? their analysis? Arjun? Maybe they are doing analysis right now. Ah, okay. So if can we have the video? Sure. Thank you. So if oh, Arjun can analysis. join us, we can have some analysis with. Oh, they are still analyzing. Wow, wow, that's so amazing. We needed so Anish to decode. <laughs> it's so amazing. They don't even move the pieces, right? They just move their hands. They know what's being played in their head. But I did actually feel that Maksudlu would be very upset after the game because it was a very important game. But uh, that's what Anish said, right? He yes. takes his losses well. And Amruta, I have amazing. never seen him terribly upset after any loss, right? Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen him very upset? No, not yet. Actually, in in fact, most of the times I've seen him after the as soon as the game ended, he would laugh. Yes. With his opponent. Yes. That too. It's amazing. Like guys, if you had to learn one quality from each of these players, it would be like from Arjun, the spirit of fight back after what happened yesterday, to how to fight in each game, and from Maksudlu is how to take losses. Because I think it's not easy to to be so uh, engrossed in the analysis after losing. Like you can analyze; it's it's a different matter to just analyze for the sake of it. But here he seems totally engrossed. He is talking to Arjun. He is thinking about his moves. He's forgotten that he's lost the game. It feels very inspiring. Very inspiring. Also, Arjun, if you see, like today he beat Maksudlu, which was the result. Yeah. Yesterday he was winning. I mean, yesterday's win would right now have kept it on a. Oh, that would have made spot. the tournament like. Because pairings are not changing with your result, Raya. Yeah? Like in other open tournaments, so. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. other stuff stays the no, same. No, I mean, if Arjun was half a point more, then he would be right now sharing lead with Gukesh. Right now, everyone's half a point behind Gukesh now, mm. so Gukesh is on four out of six. Arjun is on three and half. Uh, we have Pavel on three and half, and Hari on three and half. So we have three players on three and half, and Arjun on uh, on Gukesh on four. It did become a little exciting in terms of these uh, you yes. know, point situation. Sure. sure. <coughs> and also if we had to learn something from Anish also here who was on the stream it's uh, just coming here and commentating yeah, already uh, just that's that's, that's amazing i think too good many people also appreciating that yeah for sure there. for sure it's i mean not easy. it's amazing because he's right now leading the fide circuit and he is here uh to commentate here to to support us and you know it's amazing how how he's uh been a part of this and yeah it uh, i mean the fide circuit looks so exciting from the perspective that if gukesh tomorrow finishes joint first then the world rapid championships become the center of attraction in uzbekistan then alexander uh predke uh 
takes on maksudlu maksudlu yeah predke would be happy today to stop the bleeding he lost 3 rounds in yeah but so first hari is 3 and 1/2 and pavel is 3 and 1/2 so we should hmm. look at all those games because uh by the way if you finish joint first there are no playoffs in this tournament there are tie break rules in fact we have direct encounter right first Sagar first tie one. break is direct encounter uh then after that the next tie break is sonebon berger um and then third tie break is greater number of wins and fourth tie break is greater number of wins with black it seems to me uh ah arjun is still discussing yeah maybe it might take him a long time yes to come here yeah these are the uh tie breaks so in direct encounter if let's say every uh, amruta yeah gukesh and uh, arjun suppose and pavel yeah it's uh, quite complicated there's a lot of things that can happen but yeah this is going to be exciting and we'll wait for arjun amruta what do you say for to come here or should we no we can we can we can look at their analysis right now so that we get to which move they are on Okay. Ah, they were in the pieces. They were in <laughs> some progress, <laughs> <laughs> but in the mind we don't know where the pieces are placed yet. Let's wait. I think they are ending it. Yeah, they are getting up. Yes, we'll have Arjun now. Yeah, how, Amrita? How has the the tournament shaped up for you overall? No, oh, it is amazing. Tomorrow, last game, two Indians playing against each other. A very important game there. There are chances t right till the end. So, yeah, sure. We have an interview that can be played right now until Arjun comes. Uh, but yes, Amruta, you uh, before you play the interview, you were saying something. I think uh, this is the best we could get. Yeah, to see these kind of interesting games and to have such an exciting last round. <laughs> true. True. Yeah. Let's have a look at the interview. Grandmasters was born and how did you come into this journey? So I think um, it's been a dream to have a tournament of this kind for uh, several years. It just so happened that uh, we were having this conversation with uh, Sagar. Uh, there was uh, actually this opportunity in the fide circuit. I would say that Gukesh and Arjun had this opportunity. The emotions behind it was one of the rocket fuels that could uh, provide the initial thrust. After having uh, organized a tournament like Olympiad, I was feeling like how many times will the government step in and support all the time whenever we need something like this. So I uh, didn't feel like we had great chances, but I thought let's just try and uh, the hand. let's try and see because we have a really short time and. Uh, I approached the Tamil Nadu government, but uh, I was really surprised, first of all, by how positive they perceived uh, the proposal and uh, how incredibly quickly they managed to, you know, sanction the support that we required for such a tournament. It's Sagar's grit, perseverance, and Sagar's optimism that made this tournament happen. Personally, we had, we thought we'll do this next year, but Sagar said. होगा मनु भाई होगा करो अब होगा एंड वो जो दैट एटीट्यूड ऑफ हिस्स दैट इट विल हैपन यू जस्ट डू इट आई थिंक दैट इज द मेन रीजन श्रीनाथ एंड सागर टुगेदर आर अ डेडली कॉम्बिनेशन गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन्वॉल्व इन दिस फ्रॉम वेरियस फील्ड्स हु केम टुगेदर एट द लास्ट मोमेंट ही वाज ऑन माय वे टू अन वर्किंग ऑन अनदर इवेंट दिस श्रीकर सो ही गिव मी अ कॉल एंड ही इज लाइक देयर इज एन इवेंट दैट्स हैपनिंग एंड आई थिंक वी नीड यू टू हैंडल द प्रोडक्शन इट वाज अ वेरी शॉर्ट नोटिस समहाउ आई वाज आई वाज एक्साइटेड बिकॉज़ आई हैव नेवर वर्क्ड ऑन एन इवेंट रिलेटेड टू चेस एंड आई आल्सो कुड फील दैट दीस गाइस कुड use my help so while you got all these necessary approvals and resources but when you had to translate this idea into reality was there any last minute challenge and you know how did you handle that? oh so many challenges i mean first of all to begin with we had a really short time uh, it got further uh, 
difficult due to the floods we had in Chennai recently, the cyclone. We also had an incredibly amazing team. With this team that we have, uh, we can continue to pull this off. Amazing things. The reason that we stopped thinking about it in November was that it is too late now. Challenges were always time. To add to that were the Chennai floods. Even finding a simple thing as a cab driver was getting a difficult. They also, their cars were flooded. You know, everything in the city had basically stopped. A lot of people don't understand that how many things really go into putting a chess together, chess tournament together. And a lot of things happened behind the scenes. We had no time at all. And it's like we landed here on Tuesday and the event is even started on like Thursday. So we barely had three full days to set up. Somehow I'm blessed that I've had good friends within the event industry who helped me out get proper vendors. And now that tournament has kicked on, we are seeing Vishy and a lot of buzz around and it's becoming a success. How is your experience and how does it feel? So far, uh, I haven't had a lot of time to you know, stop and savor the good moments. Uh, it would be amazing if one of them still manages to find a way to uh, win this tournament, have a positive uh, uh, result. But I do hope that, uh, you know, we have planted a seed in having the first super tournament. And uh, again, you know, when you're building things, uh, it takes time, it takes effort. It uh, takes a lot of process, but planting that first seed the fruits usually come uh, much later. I, I hope this is one of those moments. I think Manu's wife, she, she told, I mean, she just mentioned, she said, uh, hey, uh, can you believe it? I said, what? And this was right in the VIP room opposite the playing hall. She's like, can you believe it? This is actually happening. The players are playing right there. And we're sitting right here. And we're still trying to figure out a lot of things, you know, managing a lot of stuff feels great that you know Tamil Nadu government with its really quick support. I don't know uh, whether I'm working on this and I would like to work on more such events and more such opportunities. Especially things related to chess because people need events like this. People from the chess fraternity. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. That was the team of MGD1 who were there, you know, interviewed. Uh, they have played a big role in making this event possible. In fact, the entire team of Srinath, Manu, Shrikar, uh, they did a brilliant job. As he wants to prepare for tomorrow's game, I guess, because it's going to start one and a half hours early. So we'll call it a night for today. And thank you all for tuning in. See you tomorrow.